Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome back to Heyday Live. Your host, Red Knight, will be here in a moment. But for today, what are we going to be doing? Well, we will be playing Heyday as usual. There's farming to be done, there's Tom to be done, there's boats to be done, there's animals to be fed, and there's the Derby prizes to be claimed. We've also got the valley, we've got many other wonderful activities as well, so hopefully you will be able to join us as we play the game for the next few hours. Right now your host, Red Knight, will be here any second, and hello, here I am. It's good to see everybody on this fine and beautiful day. And it is a beautiful day here today. So it's 9.41 now uh, here in Japan. The sun is shining and it's a little overcast, but I like that one. Uh, I was so tempted this morning to stay in bed uh, with the sun shining through my balcony. It looked really, really nice. But no, 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 no. One can't stay and enjoy oneself. We have to get up. Now, speaking of getting up, it's time to bring the farm. So let's take away the cover. And welcome back to my farm. Right, if you saw part one and part two, you noticed that I was working on a new design. And I'm going to try and continue with that one a little bit more today. And see how that goes as we start progressing the game. But that one we'll worry about a little bit later. Right, the key thing I want to do today is to start collecting some of my products on my machines and then spinning the Wheel of Fortune and doing the Derby. So, Susie, Sue, Shiva, and Lena, Dylan, Judith, Peter, Tonya, and Karma. Hello and good morning, by the way. It's good to see you here. Jaden's happy as well. He says to all of his American friends out there, happy Memorial Day. And to everybody around the world uh, that is celebrating, I hope you have a good one. Please do remember uh, those that uh, came before you, uh, gave up their lives for you, and maybe came home or didn't come home, depending on what happened. But either way, uh, much respect. Lena said, hi, Flirt Slot, but I think it's only here. Ricky, how have you been? I haven't been able to stream in a while. Okay, well, that's okay. Cool. Come back whenever you like. Let's say they do giveaways on Facebook. Not sure if I saw my post on Facebook. Probably a scam. Uh, usually, Heyday doesn't do giveaways on Facebook, as an example, unless it's something special. If there is a giveaway, then normally I would say about it or something like that. Uh, but probably a scam, Peter. It's probably a scam. Send me a screenshot or something, and I can have a look at it. I can tell you straight away if it is a scam or not. Most of the time, they are. Right, let's go collect this one. If they ask you for your personal details, if they ask you to sign up for websites, uh, if they ask you to, in direct messages on Facebook, to send them your password or game information, then that is a scam for sure. So, uh, that one's very easy, but usually no. And if there is a special giveaway, uh, we will know about it in the game or on Facebook's own page. So it has to be on Facebook's, oh, sorry, on um, Heyday's own page. If it's on another page or elsewhere, it's a scam. Right, Carlisle says, love your farm. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that one. How is the quarantine? Well, Prime Minister Abe here in Japan has basically released my city. So most of Japan is starting to come out of the lockdown at the moment. We've not really been on lockdown, lockdown. Now, we've had an emergency declaration with advisories, like, please avoid crowded places. Um... And like there was like the three C's as such, which were very good. But um, I've still been going out and enjoying the weather and getting my exercise and going to restaurants. Most restaurants have been closed down for seating. Uh, some have been open, but uh, with reduced seating capacity. Some places have got plastic shields up. Most supermarkets have shields between you and the customer. And there are a lot of big changes. And uh, hopefully... Um, it will go back to normal soon. Now, however, I had a union meeting the other day and they were looking at information that talks about um, how the next phase is going to be. Will it die off or will it come back again and be like a troughs, like a seasonal thing? Uh, or will it be like a die off and come back big again and die off and start fading away? Uh, they don't really know. Uh, they have lots of uh, potential ideas on how the next stage will be, but we'll see. Just make sure that you don't do stupid things and that uh, you try to avoid doing 
certain activities you did past in the past. Daniel said, loves your palm. Thank you very much, by the way. Peter said, I've tagged you on Facebook. Okay, let's go have a look, Peter. So let's go see, where did you tag me? And I can check if that's good or not. Probably not. Right, let's have a look. I've been tagged. No, that's fake. No, that's fake. Right, I will tell you now uh, that uh, 5003 diamonds thing is a fake. Do not do it, do not share it, and uh, report that page. Uh, in fact, let me go report it now because this is a scam page. So, report page. Mm, scams or fake pages. Um, Pretending to be another business and fake page pretending to be another business. Okay. Next. So at uh, Do, 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 do. Reported. No, that one's a fake page, Peter. So I've reported it. Uh, how do I report it to Heyday? You need to report it to Facebook. Uh, I've already reported it to uh, uh, Supercell already. Um, but basically, you need to report it to Facebook and get it removed that way. Uh, that's the best way to do. That one's fake. So that's a scam page. Don't fall for it. Right. So, next question. Let's come back to where I was. Oh, there's a diamond offer. What's that one for? Okay, weekly deals. So, Tom Helpers. Okay, or crops. Hmm, that's not so bad, I suppose. I can spend my diamonds and get more boosters. That one's not too bad. I might think about that one. Right, well, let's spin the wool and see what we're going to get first of all today. Uh, if you want to, copy the link and then in-game message it to support and report it that way. But the best thing to do is to report the page on Facebook. Uh, say it's a fake site pretending to be another business, it's a scam site, uh, and then link it to Heyday's real page. Now, that one's not real. so Okay, that wasn't so good reward-wise, but that's okay. All right, let's go do my crops as well. And then we're finally down to the very basics and we're done and dusted. And there we go. That one is good. we got some machines down there. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm doing all this collecting and I didn't do it again. I didn't use the booster. Oh, well, we'll save it for later. Too late now. I keep forgetting to do that. I really do. I got these nice free cheap boosters that I got for basically nothing, and I keep forgetting to use them. Uh, but I, oh well, I can save it for next time. All is good. All right, okay, more machines to be collected. No, I did everything. Okay, that's wonderful. All right, Diamond, hello, by the way. Good to see you here as well. What's the best way to expand your farm, says Omar? Uh, it depends on your level, Omar. At the end of the day, you're going to need expansion materials, and you're also going to need the permits if you want to do that area. Uh, I would say if you're lower than level 50, work on uh, gaining the resources to open up your fishing area first. You also need to expand your production machine. So that is, again, very, very important indeed. So make sure you expand your production machines by using the diamonds you get within the game. 
Ah, once you've done that, then you can start working on your farm as well and gaining more resources. Okay, I need giant pumpkins. Right, let's go collect that one as well. Thank you very much. We go back and get the pumpkins. So once you've got those thoughts done, like uh, working on your fishing area, you also need to do your town as well by expanding some of those production slots. And at the same time, you also need to be working on your actual barn and silo so slowly leveling and expanding those there's so much expansion to be done but you just set your own goals and decide what you want to do and how you would like to do it there is no best way of doing things uh, but if you do expand your barn you can store more of the equipment that's in there Right, what do you think is a good barn and stall size for level 35? Well, again, it's down to you. Uh, you can have 100 if you wanted to. You can go for 500, 1,000. Depends on the resources you've got and what your gameplay is. Uh, there is no best, everybody. Now, at the end of the day, it's down to you as an individual. If you have a 1,000 barn or silo size and that's enough, that's perfect for you. Uh, if it's not enough, then upgrade it to another size. Uh, I, I don't have 15,000 or 10,000. Uh, I'm at the stage now, though, where I feel that my barn and silo size is not enough because of the amount of resources I need to make, so I need to upgrade. Um, with my town, okay, uh, I upgrade my buildings and expand the production and the ability to turn those around. I'm happy now. I've expanded the land and I've opened all that up. It's the same with the production machines. I've expanded almost all of my production machines and they're maxed out now. Uh, you need to choose what you want to do at your game style and playing and then focus on it that way. Choose specific goals or specific ways that you want to play. So do this first or do this next or do this, um, whichever's easier for you. At the end of the day, that is one of the best choices. Sherry, hello as well, by the way. And Diamond, I'm doing good. I'm having a nice, relaxing morning. Didn't sleep well again last night. I kept waking up during the night. I must have a lot of thoughts on my mind at the moment. So, stress could be the case. Okay, everything's been done down there. So, I've got enough down there. We've got no more slots opened up just yet. So, I can keep working on my actual voucher. So, let's go again. According to this, I need a fishing shop and I need four of a kind. Well, let's see if we can find any animals, first of all, in the vicinity. There's some down there, which is kind of cool. There's a load over in the middle, which is better. So I think I'm going to go this way around because there's a nice amount of animals in that direction. So let's go have a look at the fuel first. We'll do that one. There we go. We're off. Right. Are you do? How are you doing during the coronavirus? Okay. Uh, Fats the penguin. I'm doing pretty well actually. Uh, it's not really affected me that much. It's only affected me in relation to work. Uh, most of my private jobs that I have on the side have cancelled. In fact, all of them. Ah, because they are face-to-face -face lessons and I teach a lot of kids' classes and a lot of uh, older people's classes. Uh, so parents worry about that, as do the older generation, which is fine by me. Um, so all those classes were cancelled, which happens. Uh, in relation to my work itself, my company has gone to online lessons, which is what they've been planning to do for a long time anyway. Um, so it's been nice to be able to do that. And I like teaching online. I have a lot of fun. I spent about uh, eight hours yesterday online, sitting in front of a computer, teaching students. Um, it gets very tiring on the head and concentrating on the screen, but it is good fun. So at least when I'm doing YouTubing or Hey Day, I can stop what I'm doing. I can relax a little bit more. But when you're teaching online, it's more intense in many ways, but it is enjoyable. I had a, an AGM union meeting the other day. Normally, I travel to Osaka, I'd go further down in Osaka uh, to attend the meeting, then have a pizza party afterwards. Uh, but because of COVID-19 and the restrictions on travel, or asking us not to travel so much, we did the meeting on Zoom, and it was good fun as well. We had about uh, 300 people join the meeting, and it was interesting. I was classed as a participant. Uh, you had uh, the presenters who were 
there as presenting and giving talks and you could see their video cameras everybody else who was a participant you could just hear their voices or they could chat when they were um, enabled it was interesting I, I like zoom I think it's had a lot of potential for a lot of expansion in the future right uh, Sheeda said hello Deborah Diamond says thank you for asking Jerry she had surgery on the brain today for two my pranks so hard she will be okay Ooh, hang on what was that one for How's your grandmother? Ah, okay. I hope she's good as well. Raquel, what's that? You but your your max and needs and mayonnaise, please. Anybody have mayonnaise and need it for my boat? Can you come and fill it? I should be able to come and fill your boat if I've got mayonnaise. Let me have a look in a moment. Lena says, "Can you write my name normal, please?" Okay. Uh, okay sometimes things change in the chat when you're typing it in I do know that but I see Lena's names written down there at least twice and it looks okay mm. you and your grandma in my prayers okay all right well let's go and have a look at that mayonnaise in a moment so give me a second I will just do this first I want to get some animals and get them on their way to the sanctuary so there we go claim another one this one's got a load of animals in this corner so this is good we can go to that one now get the little fisherman which is very nice indeed i'll take that one i'm definitely going to get that new decoration absolutely right now where is the sanctuary so we've got to go this way it looks like there we go we're going that direction there we go another hippo done and that is 22, 122 and 15. Interesting. Okay. Go to the fuel point. This one as well. Take the elephant this time. We're almost done. Another one. Come on, come on, come on, come on. What am I going to get this time? Oh, look at that. 232 and 196. Greens and blues this time. That I'd accept. Free fuel twice now. Very nice indeed. Right, can't pick up those animals because I'm maxed out now. So let's just come straight down to do the carrot. And this is good. Please don't break down. One carrot done as well. And then we go to the building. Lovely. I like that. Right, da, 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 da. Luke, hello, my friend. Good to see you here as well. Oh, no, 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 not speeding up. Okay, right, let's go do that one. Everything is good. We can leave that for the moment. All right, let's come back. Got a boat to be done. We can do that one, that one, that one, and that one. We can do that one, this one. Oh, my resources are going again. Oh, dear. Request for help. Yes, yes. Yes, and yes. <laughs> All right, now you're looking for mayonnaise. Do I have any mayonnaise? Let's have a look. I don't have any mayonnaise left, so I'm going to have to make it. Um, what is your neighborhood for, for level 46? Well, oh my, I have uh, four neighborhoods that I belong to. Um, the neighborhoods are basically places where you can chat and interact with people and talk and help each other out. Um, I'm not always on the other farms. I tend to spend more time on this one and I mix and match my time between it. But um, depends on the situation. Case by case. But uh, my neighborhood, which one it is, I can't remember. I'd have to have a look. But um, these are my codes for my three farms. And then you can probably go and check out my farms once you've made friends with them. And then add yourself to it. Okay, all right. Let's start collecting some goodies. Eggs as well. Get that one done. We go with the goat's milk as well. There we go. Looks like I've got to make some more feed again. And I should have done the booster. It would have been good. And pigs now. Oh, I've run out of feed. Has anybody else been like me? I've been literally keeping off social media a lot more recently. Uh, even gaming. I've played gaming sometimes, but not all of the time. I'm finding that uh, because of uh, the lockdown, uh, I want to spend less time online and more time doing other things. It's been interesting. It really, really has. So trash that one, trash that one. Okay, that one I can do. Hmm. Sai, hello as well, by the way. Right, next one. So ask for help on that one. 
Send the visitors away, no thank you, and uh, no thank you on that one. Okay, all right, let's start loading up the buildings. All right, goat's milk, wonderful. And another one done. Ricky, what are the names of your heyday pets? Well, it depends on the pet. So each one has a specific name. Not all of the pets are named because we never got to finish that one off. So at some stage in the near future or distant future, I will have to work on renaming the animals again. Uh, but what all their names are, I don't remember. If I tap on one or two, it will tell me. And then we can see that way. Like if I tap on one of the cats here, that's 2020. The dog over there is uh, Lassie. Uh, that one over there is Tiller. That one down there, uh, the little puppy is 2020. The little cat there's 2020. So the 2020 ones haven't been named. Uh, the ones that have names down there were well, based on the people who were lucky enough to win. We can't add you on your main farm, it's full. At the moment, yes. Okay, the main farm has maxed out. Actually, it's not maxed, it's 249, so something is wrong there. Um, but uh, yes, uh, it's got maximum number of people at the moment until I sort it out. So I will be removing a lot of people uh, in the near future, uh, but not quite yet. Do 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 do. Mum said, I'm at the laundromat watching you live stream. It's a shame you can't actually have me within the actual circle of the laundromat. Imagine you're sitting there watching your laundry, but instead you see my picture coming up talking. That would be so much better. Mm -mm -mm. Peter said, depends on what I feel like doing nowadays. Same. Ricky, you messed my message to you. Did I? Let's go back up. Okay. Right, Lena says, can you please write my name in normal? Then she says, hello, Luke. Then she says, hi, Mum's Diner. Then she said, uh, Ricky, you missed my message to you. That's all I saw, Lena. So I didn't see anything else coming up there. If there was a message that you typed, it never showed other than the ones I've just read. Now, if I go further back, okay. Uh, you said, hi, Sherry. You said, be right back. You said, uh, hi, Diamond. You said, you can design a garden or something like that. Yeah, I'm thinking of designing a garden. But I don't see what other message you typed there. Nothing came up in the chat. So you have to um, let me know. If something else came up that I missed or didn't see. All right, let's go to the town now. Let's go do my visitors down there. Get that lot done as well and claim the ax on that one. <laughs> there we go. And there we go. Beautiful. I like it when I collect from my town. It's good fun. You get lots of beautiful hearts. Ricky, you missed my message. Okay. Lena says up. Okay. What do you mean up? I went to all the messages I saw and I've said those ones, but I don't see anything else. Hmm. One thing about the, the COVID-19 lockdown, I've actually missed going to the hairdressers. Normally, I would have shaved this and reduced this down by now. Uh, I don't like having too much hair in the beard in this part of the season. It gets very warm of a night time sometimes. Uh, but it's okay. It's okay. It's not going to hurt to be hairy a little bit longer. A few more down there, and they are done as well. Okay, I better make some more animal feed if I want to do my 
animals in the sanctuary. All right, let's go get some buildings done. I was talking about you should work on designing your good is bracing your farm looks good. Ah, okay. I was talking about you should work at designer. No, I, I'm not that good at designing at the end of the day. I enjoy it and I try different things out. Sometimes it works or not, but um, um, I'm not what you call the best designer in the world. I just uh, enjoy trying different things out. So. But it would be nice. I'd like to redesign Greg's farm. Now that would be fun. Imagine if Heyday had a competition to find a farmer to design Greg's farm. Uh, that would be so much fun. I would absolutely enter that competition. So where you could actually create what Greg's farm looks like. You don't have to pay for any of the resources. It's all paid for. Uh, but you design the farm and then that's your design for one season or something like that. That would be wonderful. Hey, they should really do that. Uh, that would be so much fun. So, And you could be for any level at all. So it could be, it doesn't matter if you're high level or lower level, uh, but... Um, Whatever you create, whether you've got trees or not within your farm, uh, Heyday would mimic that one on theirs. Uh, it would be fantastic. My only worry is, though, that uh, someone who may win it uh, may not have good design skills, and we might end up with one of the worst farm designs ever. Uh, and that would be so funny. It really, really would. Uh, but I would like to see uh, somebody creating designs for a Heyday contest to design Greg's. That would be fun. It's been humid here in the USA. My turn. Okay, I've not turned on the AC yet. I prefer just having the windows open. Uh, Tonya said, Len, I guess we're not friends anymore. Lena says, why not? I think there's a no connection between your two farms. Uh, maybe you got removed or uh, maybe you just can't see each other on Facebook. So just add each other back. Thank you very much. Okay, there we go. And really, I need help with milk. Oh my god. Let's hold off on that one for the moment. There might be something more important. So, let's go have a look. I think I can do most buildings. Thank you. Yeah, why not? Let's request it. If anybody's got any easy milk tasks, that will be fun to do. There we go. Nice, easy one. I like easy tasks sometimes. They can be fun. Well, not that my friends, but I don't see you. That's why. Okay, Ricky, can you review my farm? Okay, I will do reviews later. There's no need to be doing any at this moment in time. Uh, for the moment, I'm not looking at doing any reviews. And BDR, thank you very much for doing that one. I appreciate it. And Ladybug, thank you very much for doing the boat as well. I hope you are okay. Have you ever played Boom Beach? Yes, I have. I have a Boom Beach account. Uh, I have enjoyed playing it, and I do enjoy, like doing it. It's frustrating sometimes, but you definitely need a lot of skill, and you need to be thinking about how you're playing it to succeed with it. That's for sure, but I do like it. What's the highest level farm you've seen? Well, if you go to the leaderboard, you can look at any of those farms there. So if you hit on the global leaderboard as an example, and we bring up my friends, you'll see Nudie down there. She's 636. You'll see a lot of the others down there. My friend Reda as well. Um, there's a lot of people down there that are high levels. If we look at the global board down there, um, you'll see Nudie gain 636. Um, you'll see Umit and a few others down there as well that are all high level players. So some of those are my friends and some of them are not, case by case. Mm -hmm. Next one, next one, next one. That one's good. Don't mind that one. Right, how are we doing on the XP? Two thresholds done, working towards the first threshold. Uh, Reward-wise, we need to do trucks to get the actual uh, points, which is fine as well. Tomorrow's boat, so that is good. I can do some fishing, I think. There we go, another truck done. Let's go do my fishing area. Hmm. 
Right, okay. Why don't you two see each other? I don't know. Sign out to Facebook and then log back into Facebook. And then you should be able to see each other that way. Uh, Facebook does changes every now and then that they don't always tell us about, uh, which is an issue. So log out of Facebook, both of you, then log back into Facebook. And hopefully that will allow you to see each other. Uh, if it doesn't, uh, then uh, I would say remove each other and then add each other back again. One thing with Facebook you need to be aware of, uh, it's not just about adding people, you've also got to interact with them. If you interact with them more on Facebook, then it shows them up more or it hides them. So even though there's like 5,000 people on my Facebook account, because I don't interact with them all of the time, um, it won't show me all of their messages and things like that. So it will only let you see posts that you comment on or like or react to more often. So remember that one. Okay. So Lena and Tonya, make sure that you like or comment on each other's posts and then hopefully that will help you. Luke says, my truck broke down in the valley. Does anyone see it? No, I'm sorry, because I'm in the fishing area. I don't see that one at all. Hmm. Uh, if I did, I'd have to be in the valley, but um, no, I can't see it at the moment. This valley is not really a valley for helping, not really. Because you do your sanctuary animals and then you go and drop those off. If you come across someone who's broken down on the way, they might get fixed. But other than that, uh, it's not the kind of valley that you purposely go out of your way to help someone. So you may be there for hours and hours and hours, Luke. So that's good. It means you can start making some other items. Jim, hello, by the way. So Peter says, ghost farm, I see her. Mm-hmm. Maybe Tonya's been banned. I don't know. So I have to check your account with Facebook. <gasps> oh my God. May you blocked each other. How do you get the green name tag? Ah, Gem, those people are members. What they've done is they've clicked on the join button, like the membership button, and that allows them to become a paid supporter of my channel. Uh, depending on the logo next to the name depends on how long they've been there. Uh, and they also get the option to chat in, or sorry, to type in special emoji into the chat. Uh, and on Discord, they have the ability to chat with me there when I'm there. But most people tend to uh, chat with me on Facebook and other places anyway. So I'm in most locations. I will be adding some new features in soon. Uh, one of those is online gaming together. So you and another person or you and I can Zoom each other and then we can chat and play uh, whether it's in the video or no video uh, for 30 minutes or one hour. Uh, and that will be part of the package as well. And I think I'm going to enjoy adding that one in. It will be fun. Right. Do you prefer watching entertainment on a platform like YouTube or something like Netflix? Or okay. Uh, but it depends on the situation. Uh, like for YouTube, I enjoy watching gaming on this one. I really do. Uh, for movies and things like that, it's pointless uh, because the quality is not so good. Uh, there are some very, very old ones on here, which I do enjoy going back and watching. But uh, YouTube is very uh, difficult sometimes for what it allows and doesn't allow. Uh, uh, YouTube is interesting for certain things, but... Um, no, not for entertainment. It's for gaming and for people's videos. Uh, I also like watching people's music videos on here. That's probably a good thing for me because I can listen to DJs, um, like my friend DJ Eki as an example. For Netflix, I like Netflix for the TV shows and the movie shows. Now, for me as a Westerner living in Japan, it's nice to be able to see those Western ones. And recently they've been doing quite a few of the oldies that I've watched in the past. Uh, so I watched The Green Hornet the other day, which is a very B-grade movie, but still fun, though. And a few others. 
Right, Reda, my friend. Hello, and how are you? And uh, hopefully you've enjoyed your birthday cakes and other enjoyable moments for you. Yay. So happy birthday. Or belated happy birthday now to you. Mm -hmm. So good to see you here. It is good to see you here. Did you get any beautiful prizes in the derby as well? So any more uh, of the trees and ponds, everybody? I haven't had the look at that one yet. So. Uh, everybody hide your food. Ah, yes. Uh, Patricia said you live in Japan. I do, yes. I've lived here for 21 years now. Uh, I first visited Japan in 1996, uh, one year after the earthquake. Yeah, I had uh, my in-laws live in the Kobe city, uh, but they weren't overly affected, just uh, lots of damage. Most of my in-laws live in different locations, so I was lucky. So, yeah, it was on this post, didn't you see it? Lots of people were commenting and said happy birthday and things like that. So, yeah, even I made a comment post on it as well, so yes. Is it me, but I get way more tokens in Sanctuary than in the Chicken Valley? Well, you get your weight in animal weight. Uh, with the Chicken Valley, you're doing building, building, buildings. Uh, with the Sanctuary, you're collecting the animals. So it's much, much higher and better as well. So yes, 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 yes. Uh, do you uh, do you know fluent in Japanese? So am I fluent? No, 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 no. Nihongo sense wa kara nai. Tomo chapter nine. So tomodachi oksan kudomo wa nihongo to ego better better. Boku wa igirishim. So ego chapter dai job, but nihongo totimo chapter nine. So I can do the basics. Uh, I've studied and I know many many things, but I'm not fluent in the language. Uh, I can say hello, I can ask the time, I can ask for directions, uh, I can order meals, uh, I can pay for things, I can tell someone to go away, uh, I can have an argument in Japanese, my wife's very vocal with teaching me bad Japanese phrases, uh, but yes. Mm -hmm. Peter said we aren't friends on Facebook. Really? Oh my goodness me, oh my god, how can you not be friends with people on Facebook? Right, that's done, that's done, that's done, and still working towards getting diamonds on some of these. The flashing is still flashing, but not yet done. Some of those fish are annoying to catch, they really, really are. But uh, sooner or later, I will have everyone up there, and I will be very happy indeed. Why did you choose Japan? Ah, I had a phone call. So many, many years ago, the Prime Minister of Japan contacted me and said, Ricky, we need you. Uh, the people's abilities to speak Japanese uh, or English is not so good. We hear that you are a wonderful teacher. And if you come to Japan, uh, we will pay you lots of money and you can teach people. And I said, OK, I'm on my way. So it was great. So that, that's why. Now, I looked at other countries uh, as a new moving location, and I didn't feel that they would be comfortable enough for me to feel safe, secure as well. Uh, the benefits just were not there. Now that I'm older and wiser, maybe I probably would have chosen some other places, but I'm not really 100% sure if I still would do that. Right, okay. Lena says, happy birthday, Reda. Yeah, and Reda says, thank you very much, Lena. It's wonderful. So, Reda, how old are you now? Uh, are you younger than me or older than me? So, are you younger than me or older than me? I think this is one moment that you will never be able to catch me up. <laughs> So I'm definitely uh, a much higher level in age-wise. Yeah. <laughs> you can't catch me up. So Peter, should we do it? Should we sing Red for a birthday song?
Uh, Abdul, I don't know it. Sorry, no. Uh, a lot of my friends do play other games, uh, as does my son as well. But uh, I'm not so much into other games. Um, not really. I more I like the puzzle games a lot, and I enjoy the clue, find the clues, and things like that. Uh, that one's fun for me. Um, and I like games that have a kind of like a task-based activity I can relax with as well. Redder says, Fortio, yes, you win with this one. Yay, I'm a higher level than Redder. <laughs> Can't catch me. I'm the best. Yay, number one in the world. Right, so. <laughs> funny, 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 funny. So, the question is, though, what did you get for your birthday? Um, so, did your wife and children buy you something wonderful? Uh, or did you have to buy yourself one, something wonderful? Um, so, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, what did you get? Okay, Peter says, sing a birthday song. Okay, and Rena, Lena said, hello as well. Mm -hmm. So, Reda, what did you get for your birthday? You've got to tell us. What did the family buy you? Did you get the new Lamborghini? Uh, did you manage to get your hands on a, a brand new Porsche? Or something else? Maybe they bought you a diamond pack within the game. And by the way, everybody, the Ramadan decoration has now gone. Um, so the last day was the other day. So if you didn't get it, uh, I'm afraid that uh, you've lost that opportunity for the time being until it comes back in the game at some other stage in the future. You got a cake. Yeah, okay. I never get a cake for my birthday anymore. Uh, haven't had a birthday cake from the family in a long time. Uh, I think last time we had a birthday cake was on my son's birthday. Uh, and I offered to cut the cake, uh, but I was told no. Uh, the cake was then cut. And if you imagine a big cake like this, and three people are e eating. So it's very easy to cut it into three pieces, so it's like equal. But no, 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 no. Right, my wife's piece is like this, my son's piece is like this, and my piece is like a small piece like that. So uh, I complained about it, and basically I was told, well, okay, from now on you don't have cake. If you complain, you don't get it anymore. So I've never had a piece of cake since. Teresa, hello, by the way. And I can't read the Arabic name, but hello and welcome, by the way. Russell said Peter Tonya is cattail hollows. Okay. Uh, Peter says, I don't think we're friends either, Tonya. Really? Tonya's been unfriending everybody. Oh my god. I wonder if we're still friends within the game. Let's go get some wheat. Okay, what have we got down there? There's 10 wheat for 10 coin. I'll take some of that for the moment. It's only coins, doesn't matter. There we go. Done and dusted. There's their toolbox. There we go. Pickaxe, I'll take that. Right. Dibadram uh, says, hello, Reda. How do you do? Right, okay. Da, 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 da. Reda says I got myself a Ferrari. Really? Uh, Ferraris are better designed for ladies, though, because the steering wheels are so small uh, and the pedals are very close together. Um, I read once that they're better for lady drivers. You and I are rather large, so how do you get in a Ferrari? Uh, like, uh, our derrieres are not small, so how do you sit in a Ferrari seat and not be squashed or find it too tight? I don't believe you. I don't believe you. So I don't think you got a Ferrari, unless, of course, it was a model one. 
Peter says, Ferrari, yeah, you need to give us a ride in Ferrari. Yeah, I won't say no to that one. So if any of my friends have a Ferrari and they would like to take me for a spin in it, no problems. Uh, I quite happily sit there with my arm over the side, uh, looking around and as people watch me as I drive past, revving the engine as we drive down the street. They do it here in Kobe sometimes. Uh, not an 812. Ah, okay. So it's wide up. <laughs> they do it in Kobe. You'll see all of the Ferraris driving down the street, one behind the other sometimes. And like that. As they go down. They're noisy. But they are nice to look at, though. I think my favorite one I saw was the yellow one. That was beautiful. So, pink one was a little strange. Uh, the red ones were gorgeous as well. And even the green Ferrari was very nice. That was a nice color. Uh, Reda says I'm not fat anymore. Ah, like me, you've lost weight because of COVID-19. Uh, or because of fasting, I wonder. <laughs> Uh, don't say no, we're not Ricky. I'm on your on your second and third farm, but I'm not on your main. You keep kicking me out. I kick everybody out, Tonya. Yeah, everybody gets removed from the farm when I empty it out, and then give people the chance to come back. So, yeah. it's okay. Just keep adding me back every now and then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think I lost weight during this 19 as well. I did want to lose another 60 or 70 pounds, but the wife stayed, so I couldn't lose that one. Uh, Sherry said, my iPad is doing the same thing. I had to refresh to see what I wrote. Okay. Yeah, not all the things. My iPad is messing up. Stop working. I didn't see what I write. That could be a problem. You write something and it disappears. And like, no, where's my writing gone? I do that sometimes. I write things and go back and later it's not there. I think it deletes itself automatically. Okay, Linda said I can't write at all. Oh my God, that's not good. That my game rebooted. Actually, during the COVID-19, how much weight did everybody lose? I've been seeing videos of people who've exercised and eaten more healthily at home during this lockdown. Uh, and they look muscular or slimmer or better bodies. And I'm thinking like, oh, my God, that's so not fair. Uh, really isn't. I wish I could lose a few pounds around the waistline. It would be very nice indeed. So... trouble is I enjoy food too much. I had a wonderful curry the other day and a very nice uh, dinner as well yesterday. So food is too nice. It's something wrong. Okay, well I can see your writing sometimes. Maybe your device just needs rebooting or maybe it's getting hot. Or it's just YouTube. YouTube is problematic sometimes. Um, like I said, even I've been having issues with it lately. So. It's the same sometimes with chat on Hey Day. Ah, uh -huh. okay. So you're having chat issues generally. Sounds like your device is going out the window. There we go. I sent pictures of the car. You did? Okay, so Red has got a brand new car. Let's go have a look at this one. All right, let's feel jealous. No way. Right, now I don't want to show the registration number, so I'm going to zoom in a little bit on that one. Uh, but, wow, 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 wow. Look at that. Oh my God, look at that. Look at the body on that. That is gorgeous, isn't it? So, look at that one. Oh, yeah. Can, can I come for a ride with you? Oh, my God. That is gorgeous. Look at that bodywork. Ferraris do look nice to look at. Look at that. 
Yeah, I'm afraid, uh, Red, I updated my uh, MacBook the other day because I was having issues with YouTube and Safari. Uh, it wouldn't let me stream and do things. So I updated uh, YouTube uh, and it's changed the operating system. Uh, Safari is now working as is YouTube, it's better, uh, but it stopped lots of my software from working as well. Uh, so uh, I've got to reinstall and add all of the settings back. Uh, but I will go and have a look at what you said in a moment as well. Peter said he robbed the bank and stole it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he said he bought himself a birthday present and that's what he got everybody like oh my god it's very nice indeed but there's another photo as well hang on he sent me a second one here okay oh my god look at that one i don't want to show the the, the name plate show let's see if i can make myself bigger so i don't show the name plate Let's see, will that work? Yes, it does. There we go. I've covered the nameplate. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at the lines on that beauty. How do you get in that doorway? Like, there's no way. Like, I can't even get in that door. Right. Hawkey said, where are you from? Originally from England, but now I live in Japan. Right. So, Reda, how do you get in the doorway? Like, uh, I, even I would struggle to get through that one. Like, you open the door up and you kind of, like, slide in there. It would be no chance. No chance. So, like... I how do you get in there? Like, seriously, do you climbing through the back? That's the way I'd have to. I'd have to lift the boot up and then I could get in the back way uh, and then maybe just lay down and drive the car like this. Uh, but yes, that's a nice car, Redder. So very nice indeed. I, I want to go for a spin. I really do. I want to go for a spin. So uh, very nice indeed. Now that's a nice car. Come pick me up. Let's go uh, pick up chicks. Right, so Reda, as two farmers, let's go pick up some chicks. <laughs> you can be driving on the one side, yeah, and I'll be sitting on the other side, yeah. We can, we can do posing, no problems. Right, I would love that one. Okay, and by the way, everybody, uh, Red has said that he's made a stream donation. Now, I'm afraid it doesn't show up at the moment because the settings are not working well. Uh, but, uh, Reda, wow, oh my god. Reda, 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 ah, thank you very much. That is very, very, very nice indeed. Uh, so, uh, my friend, thank you. That is really, 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 really cool. That will definitely help me and my family uh, during this uh, COVID-19 situation. So I really appreciate that one as well. As a donation, that is very nice indeed. Like, wow. Very, 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 very nice indeed. So, can I show it on the screen or not? Uh, Hawksy said, uh, why Japan? Uh, my wife's Japanese and she wanted to return back home and I said, okay. So, uh, I said to the wife, uh, not a problem. Uh, and we've lived here ever since. We moved back 20 odd years ago. So Reda says, I was 140k, but now I'm 90. Get away! No way! Oh my god, how did you do that? How did you do that? How did you manage to drop that one? I weighed myself the other day and I was 110 kilos. Uh, so I, I was 110 kilos, but uh, I don't think I've dropped... You see, my problem is I'm still eating too much. So that that's my lunch and breakfast there. Okay, right. Uh, in that case, then, I will keep it private. So, But, rather, my friend, thank you very much. Uh, whose car was that? That was Redder's car, Mum's Diner. And he needs to take us for a ride. <laughs> he really does. I want to get in the car now. I really do. 
But uh, I struggle getting in small, tight cars. Like You've seen me. I actually got in a NASCAR car many, many years ago. Um, so climbing in through the window or small spaces is not good for me. Uh, things get stuck. They really, really do. So, yes. Japan is 10.34. Mm -hmm. And Samuel, hello, by the way. And welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah. So, Reda, if you bought the Ferrari, what does your wife say? Or have you not told her? Sleep. Ah, okay, that's right. Yes, okay. Sleep, gastronomy. Okay. Ah, but is it working, though? Uh, well, it obviously is. You've dropped a lot of weight. Hmm. Yes. Yeah. I couldn't keep to that one. I really couldn't. I would burst it, and it would still cause me problems. So I think for me, my best option is probably eating less and doing more exercise. <laughs> no, exercise is not good. I like walking, but I don't like running. So not good at all. Oh, and by the way, everybody, please do not run with face masks on. Uh, I've been seeing some people running with face masks, and it's really not a good idea. Uh, we've been using face masks uh, in Japan for a long, 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 long time over the years. Uh, do not go running wearing face masks. It's really not healthy for you. Uh, it can kill you, so please don't. Ah, uh, you did it when you was in London. Ah, that's right. I remember now. You mentioned that as well. Phoebe, hello, Phoebe. How are you, my dear? Hopefully you are better. Uh, I did message you in uh, private chat the other day, so let me know, let me know, let me know. Right, and Peter says he needs a Ferrari, a red one, with a pretty girl inside like Daisy or Phoebe. Uh, it's so hard I can't eat anymore. <laughs> I know what you mean. Uh, I know what you mean. Uh, it's like, uh, yeah, I really do know what you mean. I, you, you want to eat, but you can't, because if you eat, then it just bursts the, the belt itself. Defeats the object, doesn't it? Yeah, I feel so sorry for you. I really do. So, I really do. I'm not sure if I could do it. I think you've got more patience than me. You really have. Uh, there was too many food restaurants and places I like going to here. Like, I'm glad COVID 19's kind of over now. The lockdown's finished. Uh, I had a memo from my company to saying that they're paying commutation now uh, and that uh, more and more lessons are starting to be scheduled in the language center. Um, I've requested that I do more from home classes because I like it more often, uh, even though it is more tiring, but it is a lot of fun. Read what happened. Okay. Uh, well, hello, by the way. A lot of new names today. It's interesting. Hmm. Phoebe says, I'm still in hospital. Okay, Phoebe, you may have not seen my message then. So, Phoebe, I hope you are okay. I really, really do. Uh, message me and let me know how things are going later, if you can't say here. Yes. Okay, chop the tree down on that one and then do that one as well. And that's perfect. We've got another order we can do. This is good. Right, okay. Schools went back here today. Things are starting to go. Uh, schools haven't gone back here completely here. Some of the younger kids have, some of them haven't. So, uh, depends on the pad. She's in hospital with her iPad. Ah, okay. Phoebe, you should get all the nurses and the doctors to sign up for my channel. Uh, I didn't do the belt. They cut my stomach. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I can't do that one either. No, 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 no. I can't do that one either. No, no. My friend many years ago, uh, she had the liposuction where they suck the fat and things out of you. Uh, I considered that one, but the only trouble is you have to maintain the exercise. Otherwise, the fat comes back in other places. Hmm. Phoebe says, I will be okay. Okay, that's good news, my dear. That's good news.
Peter says, I don't think it's his car. I think he took a picture of someone else and claimed it was his own. Well, we all do that. So we all do that. Yeah. Uh, by the way, everybody, I'm actually working on a very interesting video at the moment. Uh, and I will be having a special guest join me. Maybe you'll just hear their voice. Uh, but I will be interviewing them and asking them some wonderful questions. Uh, and I'm just putting that video together at the moment. It will take a little bit of time. Uh, but once the video is made, I will advertise it and promote it and put it in game as well. And I hope everybody enjoys it. Uh, so it's definitely fun to make at the moment. It really, really is. So, but that will come later in my game or later when I get the chance to sort it out. I'm working on it now and slowly and steadily building up what I need to do for it. It's so much fun. It really is. Right, where's my soya bean trees? There we go. I just harvest a load of those and we're good. Right, I hope she gets well too. Red, uh, Phoebe said, I will message you later when I get home. Please do so. Omar retracted the message. I can't see what that one said. Uh, do you watch sports? I do sometimes. Um, I'm not a sporty person. Uh, I find watching a group of men run around the pitch kicking a ball rather boring. Um, I'd rather read a book or something like that. Uh, I don't mind being outside and playing with my kids or family, things like that. But uh, sitting there watching a group group of men kick a ball and then rolling on the floor because they got knocked down or pushed or something like that and crying. No, thanks. Rugby's good. I like watching rugby. We had the Rugby World Cup here in Japan. That was fun. That's a real sports game. Uh, when it comes to football, if I watch football, I prefer to watch the fans. Japanese soccer fans are crazy. They really, really are. They're so much fun to watch and they get so into it. Same with the baseball games. Uh, baseball itself is boring, but watching the fans is fun. Ferrari uses up gas really fast, though. It does. Okay, Ricky, this is the first derby for me to miss. It is. Well, if you like, young lady, what I can do is get access to your game, and I can play your derby for you. Uh, and then maybe I can help you get 15th place. So, uh, but this will be the first one for you to miss. That's That's not good. Okay. Uh, are you not able to play in hospital? Because you can get your derby team to make sure they leave you or sort you out easy tasks. I sent pictures of my car key with my, my farm. <laughs> He's going to send a Ferrari key uh, with a picture of his farm so you know it's his. I like that one. Ah, Phoebe said Fred will get more permits than me. Ah, funny, 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 funny. Uh, Phoebe, what you should do is to actually get your neighborhood hoodies to load up all mine tasks and leave them for you. And then that way you can come in very quickly and just do them. So ask your hoodies to do that one. Say you're where you are at the moment. Just to tell them to load up the board with mine tasks. Uh, and then you can take those mine tasks uh, and then you can get them done very quickly. That way but don't worry if he gets more permits it'll be fine he'll just put, give you a rock so we could build a beautiful rock just down in the corner uh, for you as well it'd be wonderful you'd love it so I've got to collect my derby prices I don't even know what's next yet I haven't looked uh, it was best not to play since it is the blossom ah that's true okay okay yeah probably not a good idea but uh, speaking of Derby, I better collect my prizes. How did we do? So second place. Oh, that's good. We came back in second. We got knocked back down. Did I get anything wonderful? Tell me, did I get anything good? No, again, shitty results. Uh, of all of the Derbies I've done since the update, I've only had the one tree as a prize. Every other time in the top three, I get the stupid expansion material prizes. I don't want those. I want the new trees, and I can't get them unless they come as prizes. It's not fair. Uh, I hate that. I really do. Why can't I get those ones? Other people get them, but I never seem to do. I think the game is biased. 
Hmm. Does anyone have any lettuce I can buy, please? I don't know. I've not looked, but I can check in a moment on my side. Then you can get ideas from Google. Okay. Hmm. Lena, one of the best ways for changing your farm with ideas is to look at other farmers. I've did that many times. Uh, I actually, many years ago, looked at uh, Roots, and he had a wonderful design piece in the corner, and I took his corner piece. I went to another farm that, on the farms, and I saw another little area that I liked, and I used that. And then another one, I used that, and then I put it all together. Daisy, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. You and Peter didn't chat so much today. I'm surprised, but see you. Now, we claim that one. There's a deco down there. Permit and blueprints. Okay. We got uh, blueprints there as well. And there's nothing else I want. It really isn't. There's some nice boosters. Faster town service. Ooh, that could be fun. A booster for the building. Don't often see those ones. I might take that one. That'd be fun. What was that for? So B and B fifty percent faster for eighteen hours. <gasps> oh, that'd be a good one. That one I could dig. Fish for the fishing vent. Heavier fish for the next eight hours. Mm -hmm. Difficult decision to do it or not to do it. Mm. Right. Uh, I just don't like the bunny derby. Bunny derby's easy. No, you just take task during the bunny, and it's good. Phoebe says, I got free trees. It's not fair, is it? It's not fair. Why do people keep getting more trees and I don't? Really is not fair indeed. Well, I'll take the one booster, I think, and I'll re-spin everything else. Cause I don't like the rewards. There we go. Another gnome decoration down there as well. And nothing else is worth getting. Okay, re-spin again. There we go. There's some nice diamonds down there again. Oh, there's a deco. So, do I go with the deco or the... I'm going to stick with the booster this time, I think. So, we've got one, two permits, two of the blueprints, and one booster, and two decoration. Okay, do that again. Oh, another new deco, but I'm going to stick with the gnome for Christmas. Okay, there's a helper booster. Don't need that one. So, spin again. Okay, and we're still getting horrible expansion material. I don't want those. Okay, we'll take the voucher, and then we'll see what we can get on that last one. A single voucher down there. Oh, nice decoration. Tempting, so tempting. Okay, we'll claim those ones. That'll do. Right, you're not playing in the derby this time, Phoebe. No, she can't, I'm afraid to say. So, yes. Mm, ba, 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 ba. Mm -mm. Found in the same farm. Okay, it's not fair. I didn't get any of them. I just really didn't get any of those brand new items. So not fair indeed. Not fair. But the next derby is a blossom derby. Okay, and you can identify them because they're 400 points. So, 400 point tasks. Mm, they're fine. I don't mind that one. So, Blossom Derby's fun. Let's see what we can do. I think I will do this Derby as well. No, not fair though. Not fair. I wanted new decoration. I still haven't got it. When you have an XP booster, which items do you make the most of? Well, I just make anything that grows quickly if I'm playing and anything that grows slowly when I'm not there. And then I just take it later. So, I have an XP booster there, which is very nice indeed, but it's only 30%. So, it depends on what I'm doing at the time. Take the scroll, Ricky. I did, don't worry. I took the scrolls. So, now my permits are up to 17 of 8. And I'm slowly building those up, but we're in no hurry. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that you're in hospital, Phoebe. I hope you feel better and get healthy and pray for you. No wonder I didn't see you on the stream today. Yes, she's actually down for the count for the moment, everybody. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Mm hmm Next time we see Phoebe when she comes out of the hospital, she will look uh, very different indeed. So we're going to see like a longer eyelashes, a more rugged nose, uh, hairline lifted up as well. Uh, it's going to look like uh, a 20 year old again. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> I should go into a hospital and get my face done as well. 
So one of my students' husband is a cosmetic surgeon. I wonder if I could get him to change my face. And if so, what should I do? Should I raise my eyebrows so they come up like this? That could be kind of cool. I, I could have like a, my eyes coming up in this direction. Maybe straighten my nose. Hmm. Right, Ricky, show him the pictures. Okay, have I got more pictures to show? Okay, let's go have a look. Right, we need to show the keys. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Right, so are you ready? Now, this is Redder's farm, as you can see. Uh, level 420 says, welcome back, Redder. So we know that it's actually his farm. So there you go. So Peter, are you ready? There's the farm. As we slide up, okay, you slide up slowly, 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 slowly. You'll see just coming at the bottom over there, the part of the keys. So sliding up a little bit more. There we go. Look at that. It says Ferrari. Right, and there is the Ferrari key fob, everybody, uh, with a plastic piece on the front. So, uh, there you go. One Ferrari uh, key fob to go with the beautiful Ferrari car uh, that he showed the picture of. So, that gorgeous Ferrari that he's now bought. So... <laughs> Uh, very nice indeed. Uh, very nice. <coughs> okay. I like that one. That's very cool indeed. So, uh, by the way, everybody, just to let you know, that car that you've been looking at, uh, it's actually being delivered to Japan from Reda, uh, and he's sending it to me uh, by ship. Um, so, uh, he said that, uh, Ricky, you're an awesome guy, and I know you don't have a car, uh, so I'm going to buy you a little something, and I'm going to ship it over to you, and that's what he's bought me. So, my friend Reda actually bought me a beautiful white Ferrari, uh, and he's going to send it in the post to me. <laughs> uh, Phoebe, he's sending you the black one, so we can drive around together and meet up. We can have races. Uh, that'll be fun. <laughs> Why would anyone want to have plastic surgery? Eyes, aren't you happy with what God gave you? And you are, you are ashamed. Well, it's not ashamed as such. Like, uh, I live in Japan and many people do a lot of plastic surgery because they want eyelashes on their eyes, as an example. Or they want the raised eyes or bone structures modified. Uh, it's like going to the dentist and having your teeth done. Yeah, so, there's nothing wrong with our teeth, but we still get them straightened or fixed or whatever else. Uh, it's the same if you like uh, injure yourself, Tonya. You still go to the hospital or doctors and you get it fixed or done. Uh, so at the end of the day, uh, it's the same kind of context. Uh, Mahendra, hello, by the way, and welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm really going to buy my son Peter and very small his father, everyone packaged in a Hot Wheels box. You should do that one. Yes. I want that, but I don't have any money. Ah, <laughs> said Lena. I know what you mean. Actually, I personally wouldn't buy a Ferrari. Uh, I'm more of a uh, Jaguar kind of guy. Uh, my father, many years ago, had a Jaguar uh, before he retired. And it was a beautiful yellow color. It was gorgeous. Uh, very, very nice. So like a, a curved bonnet as well. So a shaped bonnet. Very nice indeed. I uh, used to love that one. That was very cool indeed. Fixing it, repairing it was expensive. Driving was very nice though. Beautiful engine sound. Also like Bentleys. My boss in the past had this beautiful Bentley. Uh, they also had Jags in the company, but the Jags they had were horrible. Uh, they were the, like the cheap, nasty ones. But the boss's Bentley was a beautiful blue one, and I was I loved it. It was really gorgeous. He would never let me drive it though. That's the only problem. That was a shame. I'd love to have driven that one. I could have loved going around the town in that. 
And... Peter, do you know how to drive? Does anybody here don't know how to drive? I'm assuming most people do. Or are you paper drivers? So paper drivers are people who have a license but never drive. Got a lot of those in Japan. Really do have a lot of those in Japan. So for me, that seems crazy. Why spend all that money learning and taking the test, uh, passing the test, and then not driving? I know it can be expensive to have a car here because of the fees you pay when it gets old. Uh, that's why I have to keep buying a brand new one every now and then because it's cheaper. But uh, to spend all that money taking a test and learning to drive and then never driving, for me, is very weird. I usually drive when I go on holiday. It's much better. Ian says, I don't. I'm 12. Oh, Ian. Uh, 12 years old, driving a car. I've seen some kids do it off-road. You should give it a go. Actually, no, don't give it a go because I'll get in trouble for recommending a 12-year-old drive. No, so ignore that one. When you're older, you should give it a go. Whew, safe now. Peter says, I have a driver's license, but I don't drive anymore. Okay. My mum, yeah, said I used to drive her around the bend sometimes. I uh, could never understand that one. No, I could never understand. Why would I drive somebody around the bend? You might as well go somewhere. It'd be better. Right. Oh, that would be so funny if Red didn't have a driver's license. <laughs> My mother's recovering from tumor surgery, Phoebe. I'm trying to stay calm about it because uh, it uh, have a heart attack. Yet, yeah, please do stay relaxed, young lady. Okay, tumors, okay, can be removed very easily these days. Uh, and then afterwards, you need to find out if they're gone or not. I had the same issues with my father. Um, so, uh, don't stress it too much. There's not much you can do. Uh, and remember that uh, you need to be there and supporting her. You can do the crying and other things later. Uh, but uh, just keep that chin up. Mm -hmm. I recommend sellotape. It can hold it upwards. And that way you feel a little bit more positive. But um, don't let it get you down. Uh, Tony said, I think a Cadillac is better uh, than any other car I've had one once. There's somebody in Colbay City that has a Cadillac, and I see it every now and then. It's gorgeous. Uh, and they drive it down the road behind the, the restaurants, uh, and then it pulls up and it stops there, and then people come and have a look at it, and it's very nice indeed. It's more for show than anything than just driving around, but it is very, very, very beautiful. And it's a kind of like a, a creamish color, so like a blue cream color. Very nice indeed. Very, very nice indeed. There are some nice cars here in Colby, and every now and then they come. But if you're looking for nice cars, okay, uh, I recommend going to the UK. Uh, every year they used to do the London to Brighton run, where you could see a lot of cars going from London down to the southeast coast. Uh, and it's very cool indeed. Uh, or my hometown, Hastings, every now and then they have the motorbikes coming. Don't know if they still do it, but they pull up to the seafront, they park up there, you can walk up and down, look at all the different kinds of motorbikes, and there are some gorgeous uh, Harley Davidsons amongst them as well, plus a few others. And sometimes they used to have the mods coming as well uh, with their scooters, which was really cool, all their mirrors on the side. I used to love that. Right, Reda said, I start driving when I was 14 years old. Really? Oh my God. Uh... I don't think I was that far from you. I think maybe 17 when I started. So, hmm, when I could get my license. Still have the same paper one as well. Got points on my license because I once drove down the wrong way street, the wrong way, and the police car followed me. Uh, I was going to tell the police car, but you did the same thing. But I didn't think being sarcastic and stupid was a good idea. So, no. Uh, okay, Phoebe said, not too good tonight. Well, please do keep your chin up, Phoebe. Maybe I should phone you. So can you accept phone calls, Phoebe? So I could uh, Skype you or line you or Zoom you in hospital. Uh, would that be allowed, I wonder? 
The bad part is no one can go visit in the hospital, Ricky. That is true. That's why Zooming is very important or Skyping is very important at the moment. Uh, so you need to do the FaceTimes. You need to do Zoom. You need to do Line. Uh, I know we can't visit in hospitals. Um, and I understand that as well. And it can be very problematic as well. Uh, but I think sometimes hospitals are overreacting in some ways as well. Uh, Green, my dear. Hello as well, by the way. Way. Okay. Hmm. Uh, my mother is scared of video calling. Don't be. Just have the nurse do it instead. Or what you can do is have the nurse or doctor dress up like uh, you and then they can pretend to be you and come and say hello. Ian says, can we do a Zoom? Sometimes we can do. Yes. Today, no. Phoebe says, I look like a ghost. I'm so pale. Oh, really? Uh, in that case, then, can we do a Zoom? <gasps> That'd be so much fun. Uh, actually, no, probably not a good idea. We're live at the moment. That might not be such a good idea. So, no, 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 no. But either way, okay, Native Star, I hope your mum's okay. And Phoebe, you take care as well. I mean that. So, yeah. Wishing you both speedy recoveries. Mm hmm. Yeah. It's a shame they won't let people go to hospitals at the moment. Uh, even in the UK, there's a bit of a tiz was now because uh, one of the guys went with his family to another location and then separated. Uh, when you've got children that have special needs, okay, those priorities are much more important. They really, really are. Uh, and sometimes I think the media is disgusting. I really, really do. So the media, the news companies, Sky News, disgusting. They really are. So hounding a person's parents and family and going outside their house as well. Uh, fake protesters coming just because they don't believe in your political affiliations and things like that. Uh, the UK is getting awful. So... Uh, I'm not going to zoom in La La Land now. I don't blame you. Okay, you're in La, uh, into La La Land now. Ah, Phoebe, if you take any drugs or anything like that that make you very high, we have to do a zoom. Uh, it would be great to talk to you when you're like high. So it'd be like this one. Uh, hey, it's me. I'm Phoebe. I'm a little bit high at the moment. Hello, Ricky. I love you. Uh, I miss you. Uh, it could be like being drunk. Yeah. In my army days, many, many years ago, uh, one of the guys was injured uh, in an accident and they had to give him uh, an injection uh, just to uh, keep him calm and to take away the pain. And it was, I'm sorry, but no offense, it was hysterical. It really was. Uh, so I, I could imagine Phoebe doing the same thing. But Phoebe, you take care, my darling. I mean that one. So good night, good night, good night. You look after yourself. Uh, and if you would like me to, I can zoom in and chat or just FaceTime anytime you want, just to help you keep up your spirits. So, and if you like, when I if I do zoom in and chat with your phone in, uh, I can even undo the top button to keep your spirits up a little bit more, just to make you feel a little bit more perky. So there we go, one button undone, just to make you feel a little bit more excited and positive. But you take care, my dear. Let us know how things are going. Right. Hmm. That's better. I'm hungry. My first meal today. It's eleven o'clock and I haven't eaten. Mm-hmm. So, read up for your Ferrari, how fast have you driven it? And can the police cars catch you? So, that is the question. How fast have you driven it? And can the police cars catch you? 
So in your country, do they chase you in uh, supercars as well if you're driving too quickly? Hmm. And if so, uh, if you are speeding, do they destroy the car or do anything to it in any way? It'd be interesting to know. I am on a very hard level. I hate a pop. It's not easy. Really? Um, I've had some that have been challenging, but I've always been able to do them. So... I like the new Heyday Pop ones. The new water ones are fun. Uh, they make you think sometimes. They really, really do, which is good. I like them. Navy Star said, I gotta go as well. Take care. Okay, young lady, see you later. Started eating again. I did. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, my first time to eat. This is a bean uh, one. So there's red bean on the inside and it's rather delicious. I've also got a cream one and a peanut butter one. Uh, and later when I get more into the stream, I have a raisin one as well, uh, which is very nice. <laughs> Peter says he's waiting for the Ferrari. Yes. Native, love you too. You take care. And don't stress too much, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I need to put bushes back. I use them all. They can get my... Uh, yes, they can get my car, but I can't go out. It's in lockdown. Really? But if you're inside your car, that means you're kind of like safe and secure inside. So, okay, that's unlucky. But they can chase you, yes. <laughs> I think if I was in lockdown now, because the roads are empty, I would love to be going down one of those roads quite quickly. I saw a stupid video the other day of someone doing it in the UK. They got up to like 200, I think it was, uh, just driving down the road with nobody. Them Very dumb. They could have had an accident. So, especially on UK roads, I think it was. Mm -hmm. And Tonya said, I, it's fine for me to go. I want to watch a movie. So everyone have a wonderful night. Okay, Tonya, good night, good night, good night. And see you next time as well. And enjoy the movie. In fact, what movie are you going to watch? So what movie are you going to see? Um, and if so, uh, do we recommend watching it? Or should we say, no, don't do it? But goodbye, 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 goodbye. Mm. Yeah. I wonder if some countries are more strict than others on the lockdown. So here we have our rules for staying home as such or avoiding, but people are still going out, uh, still going to work and still coming home. So only a certain percentage have stopped really like uh, mixing. I suppose it depends on your job as well. For my job, it's been easy. I so like staying home to teach. It's so much more fun. Ricky, do you have a driver's license? I do, Lena. Yes, I have two, actually. I have an English license and a Japanese license. So my English license is a paper license. I never changed it to the plastic one. Uh, because if I change it to the plastic one, I have to renew it again and again and again. But the paper one is an unlimited one, so I don't need to. Uh, and in Japan, I have a plastic one, uh, which is now what we call a gold license. Uh, gold license means I don't have to take the, uh, the training sessions again and again and again. So it's nice. We're kind of like free licenses here. So there's like a green one and a blue one and a gold one. And uh, the blue one that I went through twice. So... And if you make, if you do something wrong or you have an accident, then they take your gold away and they give you, they go, you go back down in the color scheme again, and then you have to do all of the tests and other or certain other things again. 
for me as a British person, I never had to take a driving test in Japan. Uh, it literally was just changing the license over. So all I had to do was show my license uh, and watch the videos, and then they changed my English license to a Japanese license. Because in England, the driving test is an accepted test. Uh, my American friends, no, they can't do that. They have to actually learn to drive and take driving tests. Uh, because in America, from my understanding, you don't really learn to drive a car like you do over here in the same way in the UK. So UK test is much stricter. From what I understand, the American test is um, a little different. Which for me is very weird. How about you, Lena? So, in your part of the world, is the driving test easy or difficult? Reda, you said uh, you learned to drive when you were very, very young as well. What are the rules for driver's license and licenses in your country? I'm interested. So, for you guys out there, how do you learn to drive? What are the rules and regulations? I know for my American friends, when they come to Japan, they can't get licenses straight away. They have to do the test. But what about you, Owen? Max, hello, by the way, and welcome. Says American Gods or the 100. Hmm, you haven't played Heyday in a while. That's okay. The game's still there. When you're ready to come back, please do so. There's a lot of updates and things that are very different indeed. So, good luck on that one. Now, uh, Green says, what side of the road do you drive on? The correct side, of course. So when you're driving down the road, uh, we drive on uh, the left-hand side. And then the traffic comes on the other side, on the right-hand side. So, uh, so driving on the different side is different. Blue Bear, hello. That's the other one for the Americans as well when they come to Japan. The driving is the same as the UK side. So uh, Japan and the UK, we drive in exactly the same way. So if you're looking at me now on the computer screen, um, I would be driving straight ahead on this side of the road and cars would be coming the other side towards me. So yes. Went to driver's school. Went to school for driver's ed, and parents taught me to drink. <laughs> Not good. Drinking and driving never do. I don't do that one. I never have done. Never will do. So I don't drink and drive. Not even one beer. Uh, yeah, you drive on the other side, don't you? It's very strange. Like when I go to France, it's completely the different side. So I've almost had accidents sometimes because I think I've got to go this way, but I have to go this way. Like with roundabouts. So like a roundabout is round, as you know. Uh, for the UK, when I'm driving, I come up to it and then I go this way around. Uh, whereas you guys go this way around. So it's very, very strange for me. It really is. Dylan says, who are you? I am Ricky, if that's what you mean. Mm -hmm. I had to do a written test and a road test. Yeah, same in the UK. Uh, UK written test, road test, uh, many driving lessons. You have to change a tire. You have to know how to fix the car and things like that. So many, many, many things. Hmm. Lena says, I don't know, I don't have a driver's license, but it's easier. The hard thing is the test. Yeah, some tests, well, if you practice for the test, it's good enough. Depends on the, the person who's doing the test with you. Now, I got told that my guy that I was allocated was very strict indeed. Uh, but he actually passed me first time. Uh, and he told me that uh, my reverse uphill parking was really, really good. Uh, and he said he hadn't seen anybody do so well 
in that before. And I was like, yeah, you tried to catch me out and I blitzed him. Uh, I'm actually really good at uh, reverse parking and I'm very good at driving uphill as well, backwards. So, yeah. And even going downhill, then reversing around the hill and going upwards with a tight corner. Oh, it was perfect. I loved it. I wish I could have been seeing his face when I did this one. Right. Reda said, I don't do the test. They send it to me without test. I learned driving by myself. <laughs> I'm not getting in your car. Ah, no way. I'm sorry, Reda. Uh, if you are driving, I'm going to be staying on the top floor in one of your skyscraper buildings. Uh, if you've never had a test, you had, uh, you're driving by yourself. And learn to drive by yourself when you're driving a Ferrari. <laughs> Uh, no, I'm sorry. No, my, my friend. Red, Red up. I love you. I appreciate everything you do and whatever else, but no, 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 no. I'm staying inside the building behind a metal barrier on the top floor. Uh, no problems. Dylan said, sorry, I haven't been active. There's been a lot going on. Well, things happen. It's okay. Life is more important than uh, gaming. Remember that at the end of the day. Pam says, hello, Ricky. Ricky, I know you didn't have your machine set up with products. Is your barn the big? I have each machine. I'm just loading up my machines now. Uh, it depends on the derby. So it really does. So I'm just loading up my machines now. Uh, I collected all of the items that were there earlier in the stream. So now I'm starting to load up again. <clears throat> but I'm not really into the stacking side anyway. Barn size, is it big? No, 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 no. My barn's still a baby. My barn is only uh, 3950. Uh, I need, though, as you can see, like I'm very close to leveling up a game. So I've got 72 of 98 of the wooden planks. So I've got a few more to go there. And for my silo, uh, I've got a lot more to go on those ones. So I did some town upgrades the other day. But uh, my barn will be upgraded in another 27. So 27 more planks, and I can do that one. So getting closer and closer and closer. <coughs> and da -da 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 -da. Peter said I wasn't going to test past it on the third time. Really? Ooh. Usually here they like the people to do two years of testing, uh, which I think is too much sometimes. Uh, and I do think the testing companies are a little bit uh, more interested in making money than they are in testing people. So I do think that the testing companies over train people to make them actually do more. Just to keep bringing the money in again and again and again. <coughs> uh, da, 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 da. Pam said, in Texas, they won't help people who are running into buildings like no business. I'm getting ready to go back to work. Yeah. Okay, that's good. I'm back to work already, but online. Uh, so yesterday I had a full day. Today I've got a full day. Actually, minus two. Uh, so I start at six tonight. It's nice. Uh, so I actually enjoy teaching online and I really have enjoyed it. It's tiring. Uh, like yesterday, I was exhausted in the evening. Uh, I really was. Um, so it drains you because you're focusing a lot on the screen, but it was so much fun. It still is. And I enjoy it. Uh, someone reported my comment in my neighborhood chat for inappropriate because I said wonderful job in the heyday team. Well, that's stupid, but don't worry about it. You won't get banned. Uh, Reda said, but Ricky, I'm driving for 28 years. Okay, right, Reda. Uh, if I ever come to your part of the world and your country, which I would definitely do one day because I want to come and visit you, uh, and then we can go out and have an orange juice and you can show me around the world and things like that. And uh, we can uh, chat and play gamings and just get to know each other better. But we're getting your car. I will sit in the passenger seat with a seatbelt on uh, and a parachute for the ejector seat and a airbag in front of me as well. And then arm pads and things like that. Crash helmet. Uh, you can then drive and I can watch how you drive and we'll see if you're better. <laughs> <laughs> 28 years. Okay. Uh, have you ever had any accidents, though? That's the question. Eric said hello, by the way, and welcome. So hello and welcome to my channel. Green said, would you like some planks? I'd love some planks, Green, if you can just sell me any. Yes, please. If you've got any for sale, I can buy them, I think. I don't think I've bought my limit for today. 
Uh, let me go and have a check in a second. Hang on. Uh, I can't. I've used all my sugars. Can I buy anything for today? Let's have a look. Where's my limit? Yes, my daily count is still okay. So if you would like to sell me some planks, yes, please. Yes, please, indeed. Pam says with eyes closed. No, 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 no. I won't keep my eyes closed. Um, I want to see death approaching me. Uh, and then I can say, hello, my friends. Good to see you at last. Is it my time? Yep, indeed. So... I never close my eyes when I'm in someone's car. Like, even when I did the NASCAR racing and he went driving around that track quickly, I did not shut my eyes. It was so much fun. Yeah, I do like watching cars race. I really do. Yeah, it's That's one sport I could enjoy. I do. I like watching cars race. Same with motorbikes. Same with horses. Same with dogs. Same with uh, boats. Yeah, I think they're more fun. Right, level 150. Okay, let's go. So give me a second to get there, my dear. 150, 150, 150, 150. Do I have you on the bar? I've got to find you. Got to jump down. All right, let's go down. Ba -da -ba -da. Actually, what am I doing? Mm, what's easier? Do I have a 150 close? I got 148. No, it's probably closer this way. And it says a 150 requested. Let's have a look. Is there a 150? Yep, we got some 150s. That'll be good. Let's go to this one. I'm in the 150 region now. Shall I quickly check while I'm here. I can't do that one. Too much decoration. No diamonds. Oh my god. All right, which way? Up or down? Let's go up for the moment. Let's see. One note, we need to go down. 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? 150, 150, 150, 150, 150. There we go. Okay, young lady. Oh, thank you very much. I got them. You are a beauty. So, uh, young green, aka Mary, thank you very much. Can I add you redder and green? Yeah, I don't see why not. <laughs> I used to race cars back in my younger days, says Pam. You did, Pam. Ooh. So what kind of... Ooh, another 10. Oh, my God. Yay. Thank you very much. Ooh, that was wonderful. 30. Oh, my God. I think I can upgrade. Yay. Yay. I can do an upgrade. Oh, my God. I can upgrade my barn. You beauty. So thank you very much. Yeah, so, Pam, what kind of cars did you used to race? Yeah. I once owned a mini Clubman estate, and I raced that one down the road. I did. That was great. Uh, my second car was a Ford Capri, uh, and I had dice in the window. Yes, it was silver with an awesome bonnet. I loved the bonnets, which is why I bought it. Uh, and it had a kick down, and I used to race cars away from the traffic light on that one. Uh, I love leaving cars behind. Uh, and my last car before I came to Japan was a Fiat Panda 750L. That was a tin can. Uh, and oh my God, when you drove that one too quickly, it started shaking and I thought it was going to fall apart. Yeah, a Dodge Charger. Uh, okay. I wonder what getting a driver's license where Reddit is at. Uh, road test, written test, eye test. I don't think they do a test at all. Right, Reda said, uh, one time I broke my hands and legs, my car was looking like Princess Diana, I was in hospital for six months. Wow, oh my God. Please do take care when you're driving, yeah. I've had a few accidents in my time in my car, mostly because of other stupid drivers. Um, like, I've had people hit me in the back of my car. Uh, I've had people coming to the side of me, but I've never had an accident accident. Uh, in my army days, I experienced a very bad one, but also a very good one. Uh, we have to drive in convoys when we're traveling through countries. Uh, and I was in a Land Rover uh, behind another Land Rover. Uh, and uh, one of the lorries decided to, one of the trucks decided to overtake on the outside. The only trouble is the driver and the co-driver had fallen asleep. So they're driving, overtaking, they've fallen asleep and nodded off. They then come in like this. Uh, they don't hit mine. They actually hit the Land Rover in front of me that had a trailer. 
uh, and they jackknifed the trailer which is a rigid bar connected to the back of the Land Rover and that then jackknifed uh, the actual Land Rover and it spun boom 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 like this down the motorway everything in the back of the Land Rover went flying over both sides of the motorway or the auto bar uh, it was really like oh my god like it happened in front of me just like that so and it could have been myself and my co-driver it could have been us uh, the two drivers of the Land Rover were okay though because they were wearing their seat belts and I think everybody started putting their seat belts back on after that because it would have been bad if they hadn't have been uh, we had to put the two the vehicle and the trailer into a lorry uh, so they could be taken away. All the equipment we cleaned up very quickly. The uh, military motorcyclists and police motorcyclists that were with us were like, oh my God, it's going to take hours to clean up. And we cleaned the actual autobahn up very quickly indeed. And he was surprised at how long it took us to do it. We controlled the traffic and everything, just told him to sit down and relax and we'll deal with it. And we cleaned it up within like 10 or 15 minutes, which was very surprising. Will said, love the way you roll your R's. It's soothing to hear. Well, thank you very much. If I look at my old videos compared to now, my, my way of speaking is definitely very different. That's for sure. So I definitely roll my R's a lot more now than I used to, which is interesting to see as I've changed. But uh, Reda, please be very, very careful, especially with your new Ferrari as well. So you can drive at 20 kilometers an hour. Omar, hello, by the way. Hmm. Yeah, I actually got banned from driving military vehicles because the same Land Rover I drove it uh, and the engine blew up, but they blamed me and instead of poor maintenance. They blamed me, uh, which I wasn't happy about. Uh, but uh, as a result, they said it was because of my bad driving and they banned me. But it had nothing to do with that at all. It was poor maintenance. I found that later, but they didn't want to get the mechanic in trouble. How much to unlock the town? That I couldn't tell you off the top of my head, but if you check the Heyday Wiki, uh, it will give you that information. So let's go and have a look. So Heyday Wiki, here we come. Wiki, 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 wiki. Heyday Wiki, and we need to go to playable areas and the town. Right now, we are at the Heyday Wiki. And the information is here. Make sure you link to this page, everybody. So, Omar, if you come to the Heyday Wiki and you click on playable areas, you can come up to the farm and then the town. So, to do the town, you're going to need level 34, by the way. Uh, and what does error mean, I wonder? Mm, something strange. It costs 39,000 gold coins and takes three days. And there's all of the information you need down there as well. So why does it say error? Hmm. I have to check that out. Strange indeed. Maybe there's an advertisement or something now. It could be a video. But check the Heyday Wiki. That will give you your information. But there's where you got the price for. Uh, this is my first derby, the Blossom Derby. Okay, you're going to enjoy it. Blossom Derby's fun. Right, so the Blossom Derby is up and coming, everybody. So who can tell us what happens? Well, this derby is the Blossom Derby. Expect the following changes from the normal derby. Blossom tasks on the board. You can identify them by their flower pin. So it looks like... Uh, dish, where is it? Where we go back? Looks like a flower pin. There we go. Like that one. All right. Uh, Blossom Blast return to the board after you completed with additional points. So think of it this way. You do the first task and it gives you 320 points. You finish it and it's gone for you, but it goes back to the board again. But this time it's now uh, 375 points. You do the task and it's gone and it comes back to the board, but this time it is... 400 points as an example so it keeps going up and up and up and up and up and up and up until the maximum 400 points so the first person is the low so like 320 then 350 then 375 and then 400 and that's basically the way it works so it's much 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 more different 
So it's the same task that repeats again and again and again. Uh, one person does it. You need to communicate with your neighborhood. So if somebody takes a task and somebody's ready and waiting for it, you don't want to be waiting there like one hour, two hours, three hours, four hours for them to get it done. No, uh, you don't take a task unless you're ready for it. So clean the board, remove all of the tasks. You'll probably find it's like maximum four tasks on a board at one time anyway, or maybe even five. It's annoying. Uh, so you'll have to wait, but uh, you need to get them done quickly. And then that way you can help out the other person. So yes, indeed. Perhaps there have been a lot of errors on my farm the last week. I've only noticed one error so far, which has been the rebooting. That's came back. It was fixed. Uh, but now it seems to be coming back again, and I don't like that. But it's not happening so much, which is good. I want the bingo derby, says Lena. Bingo can come later. Uh, I do know what derbies are coming up. Uh, we actually have uh, behind-the-scenes information. So all of us content creators know what derbies are coming, what events are coming up. Uh, so... In some ways, we can kind of prepare for it. I usually don't do that. Um, I do look at it occasionally, but I don't want to be like preparing for this event or preparing for that event. I want to like enjoy my game and still just play it. So I don't really look at what's up and coming or not up and coming. Uh, Fateh, hello, by the way, and welcome. Don't go to sleep with the task. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, make sure you can do the task before you leave it. Let your friends and other players know that it's there ready. Uh, so don't run away without finishing it. So if you can't do it, leave it till later. When everybody's done it, uh, which is fine, tell everybody and then you can trash the task and get new ones up there. So that's the key thing. Okay, Brian, thank you very much, by the way. I appreciate the help on that one. Right, can I do any of my bars? No, yes I can, there we go. There's one down there, there's one down there. That one's got plenty, that's got plenty. There we go, one, two down there. Two down there, there we go, lovely. <laughs> right, I think I've done enough on my farm for the moment. Most of the machines are kind of loaded up and ready and preparing to go for later. So I need to focus on growing my crops, but I can't do that till the pumpkin is done. So I need to start working on my design. So we're going to go to the design part of the stream now uh, and get that organized and get that working as well. So now is time for us to start doing this one. Now, it looks like YouTube is still broken. It says I only have one person watching and zero likes, no new members. But uh, I know I've got more than one person coming. Lena says, what is coming next? I'm sorry, young lady. I don't know. Uh, I haven't looked at the information uh, in a while. Um, so I couldn't tell you what's coming. The only way I know what's coming is like you, by looking up at the news section and going to that heyday events list. And it tells you down there what is coming. So today it's selling equipment. Tomorrow is truck orders, two times the coins, which is very good. Wednesday is a town visitor event with extra barn and silo items. Oh, I need to go and do my barn, don't I? Thursday is a boat event with extra boosters. Yeah, no good if you can't keep them. Spin the wheel event, which is, yeah, okay. Boat event with puzzle pieces. I can't do that anymore. Don't need them. And then crop event on Sunday. So for me, there are some nice ones down there. Tuesday's my best one. Uh, and Sunday's my best one. The others I don't really need to worry about. Don't need to rewrite me about those ones. Ah, Heyday Espanol has a video in the English section. Heyday needs to change that one so his Spanish viewers can see that one. Mm -hmm. Really does. Right, no problems. The actual derby is good fun. The Blossom one's enjoyable. This stream is me doing gameplay to start with, and then I'm going to work on my actual uh, design as well. So I started the other day in two videos. It was supposed to be one video, right, an hour. Uh, actually, it was more than that, because the first one blew out completely, and then it did it again. So like, ah! So it was annoying. Okay, right, let's go get some buildings done. So we're going to go to... Mm -hmm, what to do, what to do, what to do. Straight up to the carrot, we'll get that one done first of all. 
Ooh, roadside surprise. That was good. Thought I'd broken down. Okay, now what have we got? Complete that task there. And then we're going to go to that building over there, which is good. Get the next animal. There we go. One grey hippo collected. Congratulations, leveling up from 138 to 139. Well, thank you very much. It was nice to level up the other day. I was happy indeed. I mean, the next derby after the Bossom Derby. I don't know, Lena. I haven't looked. Sorry. Uh, I don't pay much attention to uh, what is coming. I usually wait and see like everybody else. I really do. Uh, I like the surprise. So, oh, it's a Blossom Derby. Oh, it's this Derby. Um, I feel that's more comfortable from my playing style. Uh, I don't really like knowing sometimes what's up and coming. It kind of like uh, takes the pleasure away from the game. So it's okay, I suppose, but uh, not not my thing. Not my thing. Okay, deliver that one, complete that one. Let's go get the last animal. And, ooh, what's this one gonna be? Okay, there we go. Where will that take me? I've got two fuel left, so I'm gonna run out of fuel. And where's it going? Okay, we'll accept that one because it's very close and it's on the way. And I've got no fuel left. Really? Okay. I need trucks and I need pumpkins or I can respin. Let's respin. Yep, yeah, sorry. I can't tell you anyway. Officially, we're not supposed to. So even though I know the information, what's coming up, uh, we're not allowed to let anybody know about it. Uh, not in advance. So, uh, we've all agreed to this one, and we mustn't do it. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, Timison GT, hello, by the way, and welcome. So, another new name today. We're seeing lots of new names today coming up in the chat. It's interesting. If you are brand new to the channel and you haven't subscribed, you can do so. So, you just hit that beautiful bell notification, and you can be part of the channel family. So, what should I call you? So, should I call you all Red Knights Warriors or uh, my Knights in Shining Armors? Uh, it could be fun. What should I call my audience? Uh, they need, and like, uh, other YouTubers have, like, gang names or whatever else. Maybe I should call you my uh, uh, Warriors or my fellow Knights or something. I don't know. You get any new equation from the Derby? No, I didn't get anything in the Derby this time. Again, another Derby done. Uh, top three positioning and still no beautiful decoration. I'm getting disappointed. I really am. Uh, I want that decoration. And uh, it's not coming. So very sad indeed. I just have to wait. What was the sushi you showed when you demonstrated the derby? Ah, okay, all right. Depends on the sushi in question. Uh, the other one I had the other day was squid, which was very nice indeed. So, hang on. Uh, nobody's selling you deco. You have to sell it to the game. So this event is not you buying deco, this is you selling deco. Uh, if you've got excess deco in the game you don't want, the game will buy it back from you. It's not about you buying deco, it's about you selling. Uh, Lena said you can whisper to me. Okay. Lena, hi my darling. Love you. But I'm not going to tell you. Secrets between lovers. I have to keep it quiet. Oh yeah. <laughs> so this one's not about buying uh it's about selling your stuff so if you've got decoration you don't need the game will buy it back from you now that's what this event's for for me it's a waste of time i will not be selling my decoration and i will say no uh, i don't believe in selling decoration i want to keep it for myself and i will use them many time they don't take up any storage and nope not going to sell them. So I would just tell the visitors to go away. Uh, how many apples do you need, young lady? Yes, I do. Come on over. I can sell you 10 apples. 
Yeah, I put them in the last one for you. So 10 apples, 10 apples, 10 apples. Oh, I need to start producing more goods. There we go. They're added down there. Come and grab those. Right, I need to get on with my design. I started the other day and I was starting to work toward a raised platform, platform style section. But I'm not sure if I'm entirely happy with that one just yet. So I want to create a raised effect to it, and it still doesn't feel right. Hmm. So it still doesn't feel right. But uh, we'll see. Okie dokie. Mm -hmm. Where to place the machines? I need to shift now. Okay, it's going to edit mode. Stick that one back over to there for the moment. Okay. And those I can leave there, and I might hide those with trees later. Mm, decisions, decisions. When you're designing, sometimes it's very hard to think. You lose your mind or your thoughts or where you want to go. Mm, I really wanted this to be more layered, but I'm not sure if I can work it well, but we'll see. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It's funny. <laughs> I try to have fun. You know me. Right, excuse me eating something else. This one's going to be a tuna roll. I like tuna indeed. I yeah, wish it was sardines, but they don't do sardine ones here. Hmm. Hmm. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Do you think buying trees and selling fruits is that profitable? I do. I think it's a great way of making money within the game. Uh, if you buy fruit trees and then sell, buy, then sell, buy, then sell, uh, you can make a lot of coins very quickly. You just need a lot of saws and axes for the bushes and the things you're doing. It's a great way of making coins within the game. So, Folzy, hello, by the way, and welcome. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Decisions. Do I like it or not as a base point? Mm. No, I don't. Doesn't feel right. Still doesn't feel right to me. <laughs> okay, let's tweak this one. Let's have a look. Mm-hmm. Trying something different here. Yep. Let's have a look. You like it. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that one. Um, at the moment, I'm going to see if I can adjust this for another way. Now, the trouble is I've used all of my berry bushes, which is what I was thinking of using with this. So I'm going to have to plant some new ones. Yep, no, there's a few more. I can use those for the moment and get the design roughly right. I need to add in some more berry bushes down here as well because I run out. Okay, let's go paste those down. Place those in a position so I can see them more effectively. There we go. Right, let's go buy some more. We need more. Ricky, put some campfire between the fences. Now, I'm thinking about that one. Hmm. Thinking about that one, so 
what to put in there, but we'll see. I want to make, like I said, I want to make it raised. I want that feeling so it's like a layered approach to it. Um, and I want to use the fencing as well. Um, so we're going to have to see. Ah, Tom's awake. Hello, young Tom. Mm -hmm. What do I need? Good old onions. I'll take some of those. Mr. Rich, hello and welcome, welcome, welcome. And by the way, apologies if my eating makes you feel hungry. I haven't had the chance yet, Mr. Rich. I haven't had the chance. Uh, the other day I did a Zoom meeting online with my union. And we had quite a few hundred people on that one, which was good. And we introduced a new system and worked with that one where you had participants, speakers, and then staff members. And that was really good. So like the host would be able to control it. Then they had the speakers on there, which was good. And then the participants, which is just people like me uh, who were listening. And I can post comments and chat or ask questions. Uh, but I couldn't uh, talk unless they allowed me to. Uh, or, uh, and I wouldn't be a video, I was voice only. It was fun. Tall trees behind the top rightish, says Blue Bear. Okay, I will consider that one as well. Mm. Oh, edit mode. All right. <laughs> that side piece keeps popping out is annoying. It was annoying the other day as well. Okay. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Will that give me the raised look? I wonder. Steffi said, Ricky, I can't get any foxes. Oh, no. They do come. Use apple trees uh, and uh, berry bushes. They will bring them in. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Let's have a little think. Trying something different. Let's have a little think. Okay. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Luke, hello, by the way. 
So, Steffi, have you watched my video on catching foxes? Uh, they do come on into the farm. You need to make sure you've got an open area, though, for them to be able to walk into. Uh, once you do that, they will start to actually uh, come into the game. Uh, but it's enticing them and in keeping them there. That is the key thing to start with. So you've got to be very careful with that one as well. So, but they do come. If you've got a design that's created in a way that allows them to move freely into it, they will start to appear. So I've been getting a few foxes coming down in this area recently. Uh, we'll see if I can entice some more in. I also saw one over in my tree as well, but he disappeared. Top is I've also gone into the edit mode, which makes them vanish as well. So there's that downside to it. But um, yeah, use uh, trees and uh, bushes. Make sure that you've got the access for them to be able to come on into it. Uh, and if you do that, it'll be good. <clears throat> right now, uh, we want to get in some... I didn't buy the bushes, did I? Ah, oh, you silly person. I need to do a bit of shopping. Right, I need some more berry bushes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, 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 five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 10, 10, 11, 11, 11, 12, okay. Right, edit layout. Okay, Mr. Richard, I have to do something now. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. That's okay. We'll see you next time. And thank you for coming. Right. Uh, Steffi Rose says, thank you, love, thank you. Oh, that's nice. Mm hmm Right, let's see, if I make a wall like this using these ones here, that will give me a higher approach feeling to it, maybe. We have to see how they look once they've actually grown. And bring that one down now as well. One, two, and then three. Okay, come down on the diagonal again, and then around. Like the hook effect. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Keep the single path there coming out and around. Now, should I or should I not extend that further down? Now, I'm going to be limited by what I can do. I can go up to here. So, if we came around a corner and had a nice little step downwards. Could I do that? Let's have a look. So we change the direction. Bring the path piece in, then berry bush over, then path piece in. Can I do it? Would it let me? Yes. And then that way and then down. And then that's going to be too far over then, isn't it? Really need to bring that down one to make it more of an angle. Hang on. And if we do that to there, that to there, that to there, how will that look? Let's have a look. No, don't like you. Let's have a think. And then back to the single one, maybe. Hmm. No, that looks awful. That's not good. That's not good. Bring that path back over, bring that wall piece over. Mmm, decisions, decisions, decisions. 
Right, really bad at decorating. Well, it happens. Sometimes it takes time, sometimes not. Ricky, are there any in-app purchases in Heyday Park? Uh, there are, yes, Luke. Uh, Lena, can't you guys write my name without normal, without the red? Uh, da, 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 what do you mean, Lena, by red? So if someone says hi, so as an example, if I said like hi and then at Lena, uh, that's YouTube that does that. And it's a way of letting you know. So like if I put at Lena now, Lena, it should come up with your name highlighted. Oh, we can't do that. That's YouTube. So I've just done now I put hi at Lena, which highlights your name. So it shows that I'm talking to you. That highlights your name. Uh, it's like if you do at Ricky Lena. So, Rena, type at Ricky. So, if you type in at Ricky, you'll see my name come up as a little icon box. Click on the box and then press return. You'll see my name comes up in the chat as red. Uh, that's YouTube. This is like a, hey, notice me, or it's highlighting your name so you people know you're talking to you. Uh, that's a YouTube function. Uh, we can't do anything about that at all. That's what YouTube does. So every time you do the same thing and you say at someone's name, uh, it comes up in the same way. So try it. So uh, type in at Ricky and you'll see what I mean. I thought they were spelling it wrong, but as far as I'm aware, Peter, there's no way of turning it off, no. See, it's to highlight so you know that someone's talking to you. Otherwise, your name gets missed or the person gets missed. So, like, if I go into another stream and there are thousands of people there, I might say at the da's name and they say hello to them and then I see it. If someone just says, hi, Ricky, and I don't notice it, uh, then I, they complain later as well that you never said hello to me. I've had that many times. So, if you at the person, then they can see. If not, then no. Right, now, I'm not happy with that one. I really am not. So, design-wise, at the bottom for the crop area is kind of cool. I like the way that's coming. Right, now I'm going to use my coffee bushes down there, I think, as a basis around the outside. What I'm tempted to do is to go from part way to part way. And I've got too many of those, which is a shame. Uh, but I can come up to there. And if I take them away to the side, and then away to the side, that looks a little bit better. And maybe bring those path pieces down. And I could do something with that later as well. That could be fun. Maybe have that as a walkway coming up into the area. That could be fun for me later, but we'll see. Okay. Mm. Uh, for Facebook, okay. Just send the request and you get added as and when. Uh, uh, at Mark, not at Ricky. So, Lena, at Mark. So like Pam's done at Ricky, I can see Ricky, Ricky, Pam, Mum's dead at Ricky, so I can see it. You've got to highlight the person's name. So you'll see a little box coming up. So in fact, let me see if I can show you. Hang on a second. Do, 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 do. Bear with me a second. Let me do it this way. Let me show you. Right, welcome to my screen. So there you can see the screen at the moment. You'll see like my name Ricky is in red. So if I come down here and I type in there, so you'll see down there on the friends bar, and then I find the at mark, which is over in the top there on my dirty keyboard. You'll see the at mark there. Now what I can then do is if I type in Lena, so L E, it brings up your name like so. I can click this and Lena. Now this is how we do it. 
and I click dot there to think. So you should now see when that message comes through. Now for me, it looks white, but for you, you should see your name uh, in actually. So you've got to actually highlight the box. So if you do my name, it's like at R I, then it comes up with the box. You click the box and then puts my full name down there. And then you say a message as an example. Hello, Lou, lovely. Uh, and then does like that one. So exactly like that. So like I've just showed you on the screen. So exactly like that. I can't get much closer with this one. I'm holding the iPad. So it's the at mark and then the little box that pops up. So when you do the at mark, so as an example, I do at mark. And if I do sir, so wrong button. So S I, right. So you'll see now, if we come down to the bottom there, you'll see where it says like, sir, where's my camera on this one? There it is. So you'll see where I've got like at sir. It says there's a box now with Peter's name, like Sir Flirt a lot. I've got to click that box. If I click the box, so if I click the box just there, that will then put his name like that. And then when I press return, he should see it there. Uh, now I can't see it coming up as red, but if you do the same thing, so do, 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 at, and then I do Ricky, R I C. You'll see it comes up with the Ricky box there and my name there for the spelling if I want to do it automatically, click on that. And then it comes up there and then again, like this. So just like that. And then the name should come up red. That's the way it should be working. If you don't have that option, then maybe your software needs updating uh, or you have an older system, but it's been like that for a long time. Uh, and that's how we get people's names up there in red. Best way of making XP time soon is to play the game and do things. The more you do within the game, the more XP you can earn. Um, so doing the orders, using the boosters, serving the items, that kind of thing uh, is very, very cool indeed. Still nothing in them. I want to get something from those big boxes. So it's not always working. I can't see people's names highlighted in red. I can only see my own. How has work been? It's been good. Uh, I've been working a lot online, which is very nice indeed. Yesterday I was very busy and very exhausted by the time the evening was over. Uh, and even now I feel very tired indeed. Okay, confirm that one. And we were back up to there. So I'll take that away for the moment, I think. Right now, uh, did, 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 did I want to work on this one a little bit more. Now with the fencing, it's a shame I can't get closer on that one. There's the limitation on where it will go. I think the path down the side is a little bit too great still, so I might have to change that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I will do so. Let me take that one out the way for the moment. Get that block out the way from there. Stick that back into there. Okay, remove that one. Night, everyone, getting up early. So Len has done my name in red now. Yay, thank you very much, Lena. So I can see my name in red that you've done, Lena. So you can't see it. It's only me that can see it. So it's only the person that's actually typed it in red. So there you go. You've done that Lena in red. And my screen is dirty. Oh, my God. Uh, you can see the dirt on my screen. <gasps> I need to clean that one. Oh, wow. That's all the spittle happens every stream. So uh, I can see my name in red now when you do it. So like I just showed you there. Hmm, Ricky's beard is lusciously full. It is, I know, but I'm going to be trimming it off soon. It's getting too long for me and I don't like it like this. Um, I really, really don't. I want it to be shorter. So... This time of the season, it's starting to get a little bit on the warm side, uh, and I don't want it to be so hot. Uh, 
I really don't. Okay, alright, that looks better on that side. I'm more comfortable with that now. So that is good. Thinner path piece around the outside. Okay, we got one layered approach, two layered approach. Now, should I do layered on the other side as well? That is the question. Hmm. All right, he needs to cut it. I do, yes. It's a, it's nice and bushy, but it's very dry now. So it needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Okay, let's move that down that way for the moment. And thinking, thinking, thinking. So how do I do this one? I want to make that wall again. So where do I come in? So do I come this way? Or do I go the other way? So which is going to be better? Diagonal that side. Yeah, or bring it in this way. Hmm. That's the wrong bush, that's why. Decisions, decisions, decisions. I think if I keep it the same way, it will create the height I like. Maybe I should go with a longer tier one. Okay, let's come down. I love experimenting. It's good fun. And then we can come up on that side. And then the next one in there as well. Do a few more of those later by adding more bushes in, I think. I better buy some more. Okay. Uh, enjoy it while it can. You can do. Have some. What I can do, maybe, is when I cut some off, I can put it in a little bag for you and send you some in the post. Uh, very weird, but uh, it's possible. So I could start selling beard to Ricky. So who would like to buy cuttings of my beard? Uh, very reasonable price. Okay. Uh, could be a, a new idea maybe. Uh, not sure uh, if it would be popular, but it uh, could be fun. So would you like to buy my beard hair? So you can have a little cutting. I could send it to you on a postcard with a little love message. <laughs> <laughs> eh, that could be so funny. Uh, you could have a piece of me. So, Lena's doing Ad Ricky. Hmm. So, what do you reckon? Uh, this bit is for sale. You can have this chunk here. Okay, right. So we got a little chunk there, everybody. That bit is for sale. I can cut it off now, put it in an envelope, uh, and it's yours. <laughs> or if you like a little bit of brown, everybody, a brown with gray mix, I can chop this little piece off here, uh, and that little piece there will be yours. Okay. Uh, maybe you want a little bit of the hair off the top of my head. Okay, we can snip that off. There you go. One little bit of hair. Yeah. Oh, I could have so much fun with that one. I could auction my hair. No, 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 no. I don't think that's good. I think that would be very strange indeed. Right, now, I'll turn that around. Let's have a look. Maybe I've got to wait till they grow just before I see how they look. So who would do it? Who would buy pieces of my beard? Um, so could be fun. <laughs> very strange, but very fun. Uh, and each to their own. So Lena, would you like to buy some of my beard? I could cut it off and send you some in the post. I think Hafsa wants to get some, so she could be my first customer. <laughs> yeah, that would be hilarious. It really, really would. Uh, no, 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 no. That would be very strange indeed. I'm sorry. That would be really strange. And actually, I forgot to do this. 
We need to upgrade my barn, don't we? I keep forgetting. Show Green, thank you very much for that one. I can only do it in my own name. Uh, yes, you see your name in red. Uh, we see our name in red. So, Lena, you don't see our names in red. Uh, only the person you're messaging sees the name in red. So, uh, if I type uh, your name, you see it in red. Uh, but if uh, you type uh, my name, I see it in red. So it's only the person that you're typing the name for sees it as red. It's their way of seeing that you've sent them a message. Uh, if I saw everybody's name in red, it would be like too much for me and it wouldn't, it would defeat the object. So you only see uh, the person that you are messaging, uh, they only see your name. Uh, so like Ian said, like this, Lena, uh, for me, that's just a grey comment. Uh, I don't see any colour at all. Uh, if you type it in red, then yes, I can. Uh, if you put it down as the at Ricky Burnett one uh, and it comes up, then yes. If you ever do post your hair to my address, it goes straight to my garden. Really? OK, that's very strange. You're going to grow me. So one, dig a hole, little bit of hair, cover it over, dig a hole, little bit of hair, grow me. And then all of a sudden, Ricky starts sprouting. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you could grow me oh my god he's coming along nicely uh, but how soon before the actual full grown Ricky uh, uh, I see it if you do the at and you click the box Lena if you just type my name I don't uh, you need to click the box so at Ricky doesn't do anything to me I need to see the, the you need to do the box so, Moin, hello, by the way. Okay, time is on. If you're doing your town, uh, then you need to keep visitors you can do, send away ones you can't do, request where you can. You need to max out the visitor slots as well. Uh, it's very easy. Watch my town videos. So, watch my town videos, and that will show you what to do. I've been doing a lot of the back to the basic ones recently, so it would help on that side, definitely. Hair yeah, have nutrients for vegetables. They do, they do, yes. Everything I eat goes into my hair. So that's funny though. So you're using my hair in your garden to grow your veggies. As long as it's not eggplant, I don't mind. Yeah. But you could grow the Ricky tree. I could f uh, sprout something very beautiful indeed. All right, let's go back into edit mode and take those away for the moment. Take those away. Raise mode off. All right, let's try this one. No, oh, wrong button. I wonder what a high wall would look like there. How high could I go? If I did a four high, that would bring it up very nicely in line with those pieces there as well. That could be fun. Show, sure. and then if I did the same on the other side as well, that could be interesting as well. So then I could raise that up a little bit higher and then I create that layered effect I want. Ricky, look at my head, pop and the one of my pig there, his name. Ah, okay, so I wonder what your pig's name is. I'd have to go over there later and have a look. What an idea, Ricky. It would be used only for eggplant. No, 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 no. Don't you dare have some. Don't you dare. Uh, I do not like eggplant, and I do not want my beard hairs growing eggplant. That is not okay. So, no, 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 no. Uh, McKenna said, do you play on an iPad? Yes, I do. So, iPad. I used to do on an iPhone 3GS many years ago, but when I did um, 
I went to Helsinki for the heyday YouTuber walk. They had iPads. And it was like, wow, this is so much better. So much better. And I switched over to playing on iPads from that moment onwards. And I do not regret it. So one of the best decisions I ever made for switching over. Um, Do not regret that decision at all. So, okay, let's use those ones there for the moment. That one as it is on that side. So, thinking, thinking, thinking. Take that over to there for the moment. And if we take away the wall piece on there, I wonder. Could I make the stairs more of an angle, larger piece down there, and maybe that one longer, so a double step? Let's have a look. How would that look as a double step? Testing, 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 trying out new ideas. Let's see how this goes later. So, take away that one, bring that into there. Once that's grown later I can see how that looks and if I like it or not like it maybe we'll find out Ricky you are silly well sometimes yes uh, so I ate chocolate that means I will eat my hair for more chocolate uh, no 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 and Ian said one Ricky is enough actually no we need more Rickies in the world so we really, really do. So we definitely need more people like me in the world. I think so. Uh, people with a good sense of humor, people who enjoy themselves and have fun, definitely need more people like me in the world. So I'm special, I do agree. Uh, but the uh, more people we have like me, the better the world is in many ways, I think. Absolutely, indeed. Ricky is wonderful at teasing people. No, I do not tease people. I never tease people. Um, I just like to let you know how things are going. That's all. All right, now I'm going to put those ones over there for the moment. They're the wrong color to match up with the rest of the pieces, but I want to see how it looks for later. So once they've actually grown, uh, we'll decide on what direction I'm going to go on that one. So let's have a look on there for the moment. Swing that around. Bring that up like so. And then swing that around. Bring that up like so for the moment. And do I make the path smaller and stick in another one? Hang on. And we go one more down there. Let's have a look. So, come up there for the moment. Come up there for the moment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do that later. Might have to come in a piece, though. Or should we bring that one down a little bit more, take it over, and then have that more diagonal, like so. And take that away for the moment. Keep that as it is. We'll tweak that later. When those bushes have grown, I want to see how that looks like. Maybe I will remove that. I don't know. We've got different color bushes at the moment. And I'm tempted to make that wall-like effect and see how that looks. Mm -hmm. Don't know, don't know. Not sure yet. We'll see. We'll see. Mm. 
Right. Okay. So hard. Never had ever tried all day. Lots of jars. Is Heyday still a soft launch? Yes, it is. Have some. It's still in at the moment. So it's still in soft launch at this moment in time. Uh, Ian said I got the connection lost stream. Just reboot. Reboot. Mm -hmm. right. Bring that up for the moment. Bring it up for the moment. Bring it up for the moment. Hmm. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Do we do it or not? So I wish I could zoom in on this more. I could see how it would look from the distance. Mm hmm. Don't know. <laughs> Trouble is, it doesn't seem balanced, does it? Because it's wrong at the the, the shape is wrong on the side there. It's too different on the height. So, I've either got to bring it down one more and make it a singular path, which would kill that, or make a double path on that side, which would affect the shape on the other piece. Mm. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Mm -hmm. Let me do something here now. If I lose those wall pieces and I bring in some trees and bushes down there, so we take away some of the trees. Let's have a try. Right, Hey Day Pop. Yep, Hey Day Pop is another game by Supercell. Uh, yep, Hey Day Pop is another one. So it's still in soft launch. It's not yet global. Okay, bring some trees into there on that side. And if I took away the berry bushes in the back there, so which ones to go for? Hmm. Decisions, decisions, decisions. If I took away the wall piece at the back there, And I had tree-based options instead. Let's try for the moment. Let's see. Would trees look good at the back instead? Hmm. Difficult. Or let me try something else here. Hang on. I wonder. Not thought about this before. Let's see how this goes. I wonder how would that look? Okay, that could be interesting. Let's go bring a few more of those back over and have a look. Let's try some tweaking with ideas. You never know how it's going to work until you try it out. Okay. Mm hmm. 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 This is the thing with. 
designing or trying something different. Sometimes it works well, sometimes it doesn't look good. And you may want to adjust the way it looks. So let's remove those for the moment. Right, get rid of all of those. I love the edit mode. Edit mode makes it so much easier. There we go. Right now, and we want to bring some of these trees in again. So there we go. We take all of those. Twist this around. Take away all the apple trees as well. There we go. Fruit bearing trees are done and dusted. Okay, and we take the lemons, what well, I've got the excess there at the moment. And we do the bananas as well. Perfect. Right, okay, you're stuck. Okay, it depends on the puzzle. I find some puzzles can be a challenge. In other puzzles I'm finding take a little bit of time, but once you get used to it, it does get easier. So, had a challenging one yesterday. It took me about five goes to get it right, but it was fun. The one hot one shot wonders, nah. Yeah, I've got close so many times, and I've used a boost on a couple of them, but uh, many of them I failed the first time. You can't see. So you use boosters, and it helps. You don't use a booster, and it doesn't help. So, yeah. It, Lena, send me the screenshot of the one, and I'll tell you what to do. So send me the screenshot, and I can show you. Or maybe what I can do is end this stream at, let's say, 1 o'clock and do one hour of Heyday Pop and you can watch as I play. And maybe the puzzle will come up in that one. Yeah, let's see. Where have you gone? If we bring the plum trees down and then make a little bit of a section down there and then down there again. Double that one up one more time. Let's see. Bring those in to fill the gaps because there's too many in there still. Okay. Okay. Hmm. That could be fun. If I put some more plum trees in there later, I could fill that gap up a little bit more. That could be interesting. Yeah, why not? I do when you need more move but run out of moves. It happens. Yes, okay. You've tried 50 tries. Okay, then uh, send me the picture of the screenshot and I'll tell you what to do. So... 50 is taking a little bit too much time to get done. You should have been done by now with that one if it's still stuck on the one. So, send me the screenshot. Have you done that? If so, I can have a look. Okay, this one. So this one, Lena, yes? That one there, yeah? That one I've had many times. Uh, sometimes you really just can't get it done, and it's a pain in the backside, but other times it comes. So this one.
No, okay. So which one? You've sent me some imagery, so are for some. So which one is difficult for you? Ah, okay, new one. Okay. Do -do 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 -do. This one here. That one there, yes? That one there, yes? Okay, right. Actually, young lady, that one's not difficult at all. You need to be working on the boosters together and then going down one direction and then everything just keeps falling down. You can kill it across ways. So you'll see at the moment within your imagery, you see you've got the red and the blue. Do the red first and then do the blue second. So you end up with the two boosters next to each other or on top of each other. When you fire those boosters off, remember that it's like three lines or three lines, depending on the direction. So if the boosters are on top like this, do the top one, then it will be one, two, three. Uh, if they're like this one, okay, then depending on what's either side will depend if you do this booster or this booster. But whatever it is, if you do this one, then it's one, two, three. If you do this one, it's one, two, three, or uh, one, two, three. If you do that, you'll clear away one side and you'll clear away one side and they will then drop down. You then need to start matching up those patterns again to get boosters or popcorn so popcorn and a rocket uh, or the double boosters will clear that one very very quickly indeed it's actually one of the easy ones uh, and it is possible to do I, I don't think I've ever failed that one yet no I tell a lie maybe one twice or twice I've done not failed because they haven't fallen nicely but by 50 goes you should have done that one by now um you really should have. So that one should have been done by now. Next time I have that one come up on my game, I'll make a video and I'll record it so you can see what I do. Now, I record some of the puzzles, not all of them. And some I put up, some I don't put up, but I should do more. Uh, depends on the situation. But it is fun, though. I do understand. The second one on the right side is hard. Uh, they fall down. Work on doing the bottom. So do the bottom, Rena. Let them fall down. So let's come back to your picture. Hang on a second. Uh, come back to your picture, your picture, your picture, your picture. Right, for that one there, when you destroy one side, okay, uh, the other side will fall down as well. So, uh, if you get rid of this one here, uh, this block that's in this section here, they will then let you take away some of the others and these ones as well. And then these ones on the other side fall down and then you can keep taking them. So you're working on one side to get rid of all three sides. And it works that way because the cans just keep dropping, dropping, dropping. Uh, and if you do that, it works very well. If you've got popcorn, popcorn is great. It will clear away everything. But popcorn doesn't always show up. Uh, and it's the same with the other one that you sent me as an example, like this one here. Uh, with the first ones, you've got to start matching up the colors. So purple first, then red, then green, then blue. But you need to unlock the boxes. Don't worry about the honey till later. Uh, once you've got the boxes unblocked, okay, uh, or before them, if you get a rocket and a booster and you can take away three lots of honey, then kill the honey by going down as fast as you can. Then come back to the boxes later. Uh, because you've got to get into that honey section to start working your way down. Uh, if you can get popcorn, it's great, um, but it's... Mm. 
You should do this on your other account, Ricky, and show her. Well, this is my Heyday account for Heyday Pop, so it's okay. Uh, I just need to play uh, Heyday uh, and do it on that one. So maybe I'll switch over later to that game. Right, I've got to wait for those trees and bushes to be grown. Oh no, I've lost my design. Let's come back. Okay, confirm. We're back again. So actually, let's come out of that one for the moment. No, no, no. Continue editing. Don't want to lose this. So, do, 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 do. Better add the trees back in. So, I want to come around with some more trees. And coming off in a different location for the moment. Let's see. Will trees be good on this one? I wonder. Let's just place those trees back down for the moment. I'm going to come back and deal with them later. Bring the bananas back over. Nice diagonal piece. Let's just get the bushes back for the moment and I can deal with those later. Bring the bushes back so I can deal with that later. And neck the bushes back so I can deal with that later. Okay, let's go sort this out. Save that quickly. Mmm, yep, yeah, it's challenging. It's challenging. Maybe I should switch over to Heyday Pop and do a little bit of Heyday Pop and I can show you as well. I'm going to always come back to doing the rest of the design later once we find out how those bushes are going to grow. Uh, I need those uh, berry bushes to be a little bit uh, heavier with fruit so I can see what they look like. So I might hold off on doing a little bit more there just to see how it looks. But uh, I'm starting with my layered effect. I'm going to bring my trees. I kind of like what I've done over there with the trees. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I wonder instead of using walls though, so if I think about it, hang on a second. If I take that away for the moment, now I've used wall pieces in there. If I took away those wall pieces and then did something more interesting, hang on, I wonder would this work? Hmm. Let's have a look. One, two. One, two. Baobab tree there. One, two. I wonder. How would that look? Never considered that as an option. Mm-hmm. That could be interesting, actually. Trouble is, I can't see what trees are still alive or dead behind it. That would be the only downside. They would be very, very hidden indeed. But pattern-wise, that could be very interesting. Mm-hmm. If I did the same again... I wonder. Mm -hmm. Hmm. That could be kind of cool to do as well, couldn't it? Your new design looks great so far. Yes. How long will you be live? Uh, a few more hours yet, Omar. Uh, but I'm probably going to switch over to my other game. Uh, so I may stop this stream and then start the new stream using uh, Heyday Pop. Uh, so I will probably stop this one at 1 o'clock. Uh, and then switch over to my second game uh, from 1 o'clock onwards. Just so I'm doing a little bit different. Uh, that could be an interesting idea. Let me try removing those again. Okay. And I think I could dig that. Hmm. Yes. Let's do this one a go. So, take away all those trees for the moment. Erase mode off. Right. We want one, two, baobab tree. One, two. One, 
to get over there. One, two. And then bower bob tree, okay. Mm-hmm. This could be kind of fun to do. And then if I bring these trees down again, so one, two, one, two, and then one, and then two, and then paste in those other trees in there. So there we go, just do some pasting. Pasting, 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 pasting. Pasting, let's have a look. Do 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 Pasting again. And paste those excess ones I got down there again. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Mm hmm. Hmm. Look at the picture on Messenger. Okay, hang on a second. 14 moves left. Let's have a look. Doop, 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 boom, 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 boom. Ah, okay. Right, Len has got 14 moves left. Let's have a look. Right, okay, so bring up this one for Lena. This is what she's got, 14 moves left. Right, now, Lena, 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 Lena. For this one, you see the two red pieces at the bottom just there. Remove those. That should bring all of your actual uh, blues together. So bring those blues together and you'll see what happens. So take away the two red pieces. So two red gone. Take away the two red pieces. So did you do that? Once you've done that, send me another screenshot and I'll tell you what to do next. I like this. I should do help with Ricky. Maybe that would be a good one to do as well. So walk, talk through puzzles. That could be a nice idea as well. Uh, I could uh, maybe as part of my in-game videos, walk you, talk you through how to play Heyday Pop. That could be so much fun as well. Uh, we could have your imagery coming up on a Zoom, and then we could play together and work on doing your puzzles. Now, I'm not always going to help you win. An arrow down. Okay, right. So, have you sent me a new screenshot? But the arrow should be next to the actual popcorn, yes? So, the arrow should be next to the popcorn. Yes, okay. All right, click the arrow. Click the arrow next to the popcorn. So that blue arrow there, click it there so it makes it into an arrow. Then when you have the arrow and the green popcorn together, you're going to join them together and then all of the greens will fire down or shoot off in different directions and that will clear away many of your pieces. So if you make the arrow into an arrow and then click it with the popcorn, it will help you clear away many, many, many pieces. So do that one, then send me a screenshot. 
Hmm. This is fun. But a bum 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 bum. This could be Reds uh, helping me play the game. Hmm. And uh, Ultra Simple Music. Hello, by the way, and welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah. I think last night I was up to or very close to getting the trophy. I had to stop and go to bed, though, because I ran out of power and it was very, very late. So after I finished work, I uh, played games for a little bit or oh, heyday pop anyway. Do -do 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 -do. So have you sent me a new photo, young lady? Right, I actually like that. Oh, I lost my design again. No, confirm. Okay, I really wish you wouldn't do that. Okay, right. let's save the changes. Save the changes. There we go. That actually looks nice. Using the baobab trees there within the fruit. I could enjoy that one a little bit more, I think. And if I bring some more fruit in there anyway, they will grow. And that will make it a little bit more bushier and interesting. And then I wonder if I should change these pieces over here with those trees as well. Uh, and then I can make a nice little like a uh, passageway leading up to the actual helper's house. That could be fun. So I've got two more in storage. How much do they cost? Yeah, five and one. Okay, there's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. There's five. That'll do for the moment. Right, and uh, back into edit mode. You got three pop gone. So let me come and show. Did you send me a photo? So did you send me a photo? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Ah, she did. Okay, right. Good. <laughs> right. Now, in this case, young lady, very easy to do. Right. This one is very, very simple to do. You see this red one here, this red one just here, not that one, the second red one, the red above the do, do the red popcorn first. Do the red popcorn first, above the blue. So you'll see it goes like a red, red, red. Do the red in the middle. So then it will be like a blue square and then the red popcorn. You must do the red one first. So do that red one just here. Do that into popcorn. When you've done that, then go down to the bottom and then do that blue popcorn just here. So red popcorn, blue popcorn. Once you've done those two popcorns, then just like boom, and it will clear everything. They're different puzzles. <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> Did you do it? Did you clear everything? A new picture. Okay, let's have a look. Huh?
How did you get from that to that? You didn't clear anything. You've gone down those moves. How did you go from this to this? That's different. I don't understand. They're all different. They're not the same. If you had done that red popcorn, blue popcorn, all of those cans should be gone. They should have cleared everything. So why are they still there? What did you do? Did you explode the popcorn together? So Lena, with the two popcorn, so make this into the popcorn. So you do this one first. Okay. So you get the popcorn. Then you do the blue one, you get the popcorn. Then you should have popcorn, popcorn together. And then when you tap the popcorn, they join them together and it should clear everything. But the pieces are still sitting there. Nothing's gone. The, the, the cans are still there. And all of your board pieces are different. So did you explode the two popcorn together? Then it should have cleared the whole board. It should have cleared the whole board together at the same time. Their board should be empty. It's like you had this one here earlier with the, the actual rocket and the popcorn. Everything has changed, but the popcorn, the cans are still there. Nothing's cleared. So why? Those green ones should have changed into rockets and they should have like killed everything. Uh... So yes, do the red popcorn first, make the popcorn, then do the blue popcorn and then explode them together. You have to do them, explode it together. So you've got to make the popcorn first. So you'll see this one at the moment is like this. That's not the popcorn yet. You've got to make it into a popcorn. So at the moment, you've got piece, 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 piece. You need to, you've got, it says popcorn image. You click it and it makes the popcorn. Then down below the same thing, you've got the blue piece, 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 piece together as again. You click it, then you make the popcorn. So you've now got like the red popcorn and the blue popcorn like this. You then click them, they join together, make one big popcorn, and then that explodes and everything. So do the red first, make the popcorn, blue next, make the popcorn, then explode. Uh, and then everything should be gone. So same with this one over here, like with the one you had the rocket. So you do the blue, make the rocket. So the rocket's next to the green. Do them together uh, and then they should explode together. And then all the green squares should shoot off rockets in different directions. It should be a combo. That's why, like, how are they, like, not the same? I don't understand. But that one there, like that one, that's easy. That's finish. But they join together. They join together. So they should be next to each other. They should join together. So anytime you have two pieces together, they will always join together. Uh, well, if that's where you are now, hang on. Let me see. Make sure you haven't sent any more pictures. Uh, okay, right. So this is where you are now. This is your new one. Okay, right. That's going to be more difficult now. Let me have a think. Uh, okay, right. This one's an easy one. Uh, at the top, okay, you see this one at the top here. You've got three green. Uh, click the three green so they are gone. Okay, then wait. Once you click those three green, you'll see you'll have a load of reds and a load of reds in line. So next thing to do, okay, is to click the popcorn at the bottom 
so it makes a popcorn. And then don't touch it. Don't touch it. So for this one here, uh, click the three green so they go. They're gone. Then uh, go down to the bottom, click the popcorn so it makes a popcorn, and do not touch it. So click this one here and they are gone. It will take those three and then everything will drop down one place. Then come down to the bottom and that popcorn there, uh, this one here, click that so there's a popcorn here. And then don't do anything. Just leave the popcorn there. Don't touch it. Make the popcorn and leave it. Then send me another picture. <laughs> this is fun. Okay, just waiting for another photo. <laughs> Peter has the same puzzle. <laughs> ah. Peter, for your one, okay, make the bomb under the rocket, okay? Do the bomb under the rocket and then explode them together and then it will clear away three and three. Whoa. That was a big bang. So did you finish? Did you do it? Yes. So Lena, did you do it? Is it gone? Peter said, I've already beat it. No. Ah. He said, don't. No, she's my friend. I'm going to tell Lena how to do this. So she's learning how to play a game. And that's the great thing about it. So it's all about learning and trying different things. Remember, some people find gaming easy. Some people find it difficult. Like when my son does uh, Fortnite, I haven't got a clue how to play that game. Yeah, I really don't. And he says, do this, do this, do this. And I'm like, ah, like, ah, do what? So do this, do this, do this. No, don't do that. Right, send me the photo, please. Send me the photo. Send me the photo. And I'll tell you exactly what to touch online. I'm ready now. Ah, Peter said, don't tell Lena I beat the level already. That's okay, Peter. I've done it many times. It's actually a very easy one to do once you get used to it. Now, remember, these puzzles do repeat again and again and again. So once you're used to doing it and you've got the pattern in your mind, uh, it actually does help. Huh? What happened? We went from there to there. What happened? Okay, well, let's start again, young lady. <laughs> right, now, first of all, uh, take either the rocket or the dynamite and make a rocket or dynamite. Your choice doesn't really matter. Uh, I usually do the dynamite first. So click this dynamite just here in the middle. Click that one. Uh, you start over. That's okay. Right. Click the dynamite just there. Click it. It will make a bomb. Then click the arrow and it will make an arrow. Uh, hopefully there's no more blues. If blues come up, then yeah, we got a problem. But click that dynamite. Make a dynamite. Don't touch it. Uh, this arrow or this arrow. Click it and don't touch it. <laughs> it will help.
Uh, in Japan, it is 12.58. Shivan said, I just got Hey Day Pop. That is wonderful. I like Hey Day Pop. It's good fun. And now that we've got the new season, it's even better. I don't need to adjust my screen. Hang on. There we go. So it's now better. So you can see I'm five from actually getting the next level up now. So let's see. We go take that one. This is my farm, by the way. This is my big farm. I'm level 14. I'm only 215 points from unlocking level 15. And I've been buying loads of decoration. So my decorative pieces are building up. I bought a load of honeycomb paths the other day. Uh, more hedgerows and more hedgerows. I've got 53 of the leafy hedgerows now. So I'm getting forward, to, looking forward to this one. Uh, my friends are, okay, Curdy's 379. He must have done loads last night and today because I'd actually gone past yesterday. But, uh, yep. Mm, Lena says, I give up. No, don't give up. Okay, let's see if I can find the puzzle. Let's see. I've got 266. We're four from the decoration. Let's have a look. Let's see. Okay, right. No, this one is a honey one, and it is a crop and flowers. Let's play it. Right, now with this one, you've got to try and get down to the flowers, which means removing the honey. Don't give up, Lena. It's actually easier. Be a lot easier if you did the puzzle together and show her what to do. Yes, 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 yes. I agree on that side, Peter. I do agree. There we go. Come down there to there to there. Sometimes it's going to fall nicely. Sometimes not. That one's not so good, but here we go. All right, take away the green in the middle. Okay, we go down with the blue on the edge. And then, oh, look at that nice little rocket. We take that one into the red, into the center. Yeah, come down there with that one there, which is good. We take the green over there as well. Take that one in there nicely. Look at that. Okay, that's beautiful. Don't you like it when that happens? So we take that one in the center. Take away those orange pieces there. That one's gone. That one's gone. That one's gone. Honey's gone. Don't you like it? Look at that. That was beautiful indeed. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. Let's see if I can show her how to do this with these pieces. Right, now I can take those two red out of the way. That's now making a rocket piece. If I click on the rocket, the rocket should stay there. Now, I'm taking away the red one there, and then I'm going to take away the purple, bringing that down to there, which is fine for the moment. we we'll are do another one in there as well, which is good. I'll take the purples there for the moment. They're not helping. Let's have a look. Right, we got a purple there, which is not good. Okay, now we're stuck with good moves here, so I'm going to use the rocket, get that out of the way. Doesn't help. Okay, we take the green over on that side. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful again. Ah, you fell down too low. I hate it when you do that. We take that one there. Oh, look at that. We take those pieces there. We do that one in there, and we take the rocket straight down onto that one, which will be one flower. Bring another one down, two flowers. There we go. Dusted. Right. You should start from new. It's like the fifth puzzle in. I can't do that one. I'm going to have to wait for it to come up again. So let me go and get this one done anyway. Oh, I love these ones. These ones are so much fun. Uh, they really, really are. The rocket ones are good. You've got to fire it so the rockets fire in the right direction, taking the piece. Now, this one's very important that you touch the rockets in the right locations as well. Because if you touch them in the wrong locations, then they tend to uh, mess up. So let's have a look. Let's have a look. We'll take the center one there. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. Look at that. And we got cans as well on this one. So uh, take the one down the center. There we go. Beautiful. Look at that. Mm -hmm. All right. Want the rocket down on this side to take away the can pieces. So there we go. You see, one or two of the rockets will allow you to fire off all of them. Yeah, basically, you have to learn to play it yourself at the end of the day. And it does take trial and error. And some things are easier to do. Some things are more challenging. Uh, but once you get used to it, it does become very simple indeed. And there we go. We'll take that one there. Beautiful. 
So 80 cans and 41 rabbits. You, you're going to be a problem one, aren't you? So, do, 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 do. There we go. Take that lot as well. Okay, 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 okay. Mm -hmm. Lovely. That was good. You beat it. You did. Oh my god. <laughs> Yay! At last. They're all doable. They really are. They may take more than a few attempts, but uh 15 no. That is way too long for that puzzle. So Yeah. Yay, well done, Lena. You're welcome, my dear. Anytime, anytime. Uh, maybe I should do like a come join Ricky and we do a, a walkthrough, talk through on puzzles. They're good fun. Uh, like I said, I like puzzle games and I have a lot of enjoyment with them as well. Uh, and there's always the pattern or two that needs to be found and it's just discovering the pattern sometimes. So sometimes they can work very easily, sometimes not. Mm, case by case. Okay. Not so good on that one. Is there a Heyday Pop now? Uh, it's still in better mode. So this is Heyday Pop I'm playing at the moment. Uh, it's still in the test staging. It's not yet global, and it's only available in some countries. Uh, so it's actually good fun, and I do like it a lot. I really, really do. Now for me, I've always enjoyed puzzle games, and I find this one very rewarding indeed. Uh, and like I said, it can be a little bit addictive as well. Peter said the next level is hard. Shush! Let her find out and do it. Sure. Let her enjoy it. Okay, take that one down there. This one's more challenging because I've got to go across to get the rabbits. If I don't hit them right, I don't get the benefit out of the ones I want. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful. Four rabbits left and 25 cans. Yeah. There we go, five moves left, All right? Now it's just cans, that's better. So, decisions, 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 decisions. <laughs> oh, look at that, wasn't that good? All right, a bit jealous everyone can play this apart from me. Well, I got mine from Finland, I'm in Japan. Uh, we can't actually play many of the games because they're not released yet. Uh, so I have to get my games from Japan to be able to play them as well. There we go. Done it. Now that was a hard one indeed, but good fun. Uh, did you have another account where you start new, Ricky? I have two other accounts, Peter. So I have two others that I play. Uh, I'm going to wait till the game goes global before I start introducing any new one. But... Yay, indeed. Look at that one. We get to open it up. Oh, my God. Look at that. The last one. <gasps> look at that. We've got the new fish trophy. Doesn't that look good? Yay. The first box is done. So, oh, my God. Let's bring it down. We've got the stone trophy. Look at that. Doesn't that look wonderful? Yay, indeed. Yay, yay, yay. What we get if we complete one shot challenge because it uh, comes up every 10 victories. It's basically you don't lose uh, your uh, winning streak. Uh, it's very difficult. I have not passed many of the one shot challenges. I find them very difficult indeed. So very difficult indeed. So it is not easy. Right now, uh, let me just go back to heyday for the moment. And I'm being asked by... Da, 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 da. Come back to Messenger. <laughs> uh, good luck with that one. Right, Lena, with this one, work on the bottom. So these pieces, you've got to go across. 
Forget the top, they fall down. Uh, you need to work on the bottom piece there. So as an example, I would uh, take away the two blue. I would take away the three blue and I would take away the actual three green. That should give you a bomb. Uh, then you can use the bomb and the rocket straight across. So you should take away the blues. So two blue first, three blue next, and then three green. Get rid of those. Uh, and then you should be able to get the bomb. Uh, and then you'll be able to do bomb and rocket and then take away three pieces all together. So um, it's, you can do it that way. That one's, uh, I did that in two attempts. I think one attempt maybe as well. I'm not sure. Right, bring the game back. Uh, da -da -da -da. St said there's a massive ball lake to make in Finland. Oh, I found it very easy. I just set up uh, a iTunes account in Finland. So, yeah. I set up an account. Okay, Russell, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. I set up an account in Finland, so I have a Finland iTunes account. Uh, and I've added uh, game cards, iTunes cards to it so I can purchase from it. Uh, and then it allows me to do it. All right, next one is up here, show. We've got coins and bits to do, show. And I don't have enough money yet to be buying more decorations, so we've got a bit more playing to do. Okay, there we go. This one has pigs and it also has rockets and bombs and other bits. So we take away the purple for the moment. That will give me a nice little rocket on the side there. So I'm going to do the double rocket together, take away the carrots and also uh, the pig as well. Right. Uh, decisions, decisions, decisions. We do that one down there, take the rocket on that side. Now I've gone with a rocket rocket, and I've gone with a rocket bomb on both sides. What I'm going to do here is explode the rocket bomb first of all. And that would also give me the rocket against it as well. So that's only going to be two pigs, but it's still better than nothing. Uh, there we go. Uh, and it takes away a few of the pieces in the middle as well. So next one. What are we going to try with, I wonder? Let's go with the blues on that side. Lovely. Look at that straight down again. That's one more pig done. We need to get rid of one more pig, and we've got this. So we take the blues down, take that over into there, bring that one down. Not going to help. Take that and that. There we go. Rock it straight down. There we go. Next one. Got to get into the carrots. Sure, take that there, bring that one into there, take that down, there we go, lovely, perfect. So we're going to take the rocket on there, bring that one down on that side, double option again, boom. And decisions, 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 we'll take the rocket over there for the moment. Doesn't help in any way, but we take the purple down. There we go. And to take that one down as well. And go with Daryl on that side, get rid of the greens. Take the blue in there. There we go. Nice little rocket again. Double rocket option. No, nope, we've lost it. Take that down. Blue's on that side. There we go. Lovely. Okay, take that in. Bring that one down to there. we we'll take the rocket in the center again and then go with the triple option, double option, sorry. Okay, single piece. Take that one down, that one down. There we go. Ah, not what I wanted, but oh well. Purple, blue, rocket. There we go, Leonard, like that. So, uh, take the bomb, go with that one, explode it, got it. One go left, but we still did it. That's what's key. Uh, Native Star, hello, hello, hello. So, Lena, you've got it. Yep, just keep going, keep going, keep going. It does take time. Sometimes you can do it, sometimes not. One star, two star, three star, doesn't matter. As long as you don't lose your winning streak. Uh, and you just keep playing and playing and playing and slowly leveling up and getting the coins and buying the decoration. Uh, 
All right, I'm going to keep buying more path pieces. Now, this is one thing I want to be changed within the game. I want to buy pieces, but I can't see the pricing. So I've got to put everything back into storage again just to buy the pieces I want so I can see what I can then buy. So I want to go with some more of the white picket fences. So I've got to place all the fencing down again uh, just to be able to see what there is to see if I've got enough money to buy any new pieces. And it's annoying. Uh, I want this feature to be changed. I really, really do. Okay, I can buy some more down there, which is nice. Good one set of sequence. And then we come down. All right, there we go. If I go one more, I'm going to have to spend another 50 coins, which I don't have. So let's go put those back into storage again. Lovely. And I've got more white fencing for my decoration. And now I am only 140 points left to go before I level up, which is fine. So beautiful. Uh, it's hard to get money to level up. Uh, well, basically, it's working on the coins. And then once you work on the coins, uh, I, by doing the puzzles and moving up, when you get into the star challenge up here in the top, you're going to need 1,400 stars this time. When you get there, every three days, there's more money, more money, more money, more money. So it's actually good fun. And it's much better than what it was originally. So I'm very, very happy. Aha! Message number 80. I've got every single one so far, all 80 messages. Only 20 more to go till I get the 100. I missed the first few days because I didn't realize they were bottles to be collected. So, and then by accident, I found out it was nice. Uh, Malek, hello, by the way, and welcome, welcome, welcome. Ah, by the way, I bought so many beehives i really really did so i've got five in storage at the moment and i've got four down there as well so i've got nine beehives i'm going to have my own little honey area later uh, i love the bees i think they're great yeah. and i'm going to have my own little beehive corner once this farm is developed and expanded one of these areas will be for my bees only yeah. and i'm tempted to put it over there by the cave where we've obviously got something like a, a bear sleeping that would be fantastic so i'm preempting that as well but i've got to get to level 22 to do that one as well and that's going to be fun really 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 is so i can't wait on that one ah, right what have we got down here so there's a nice little option for a bomb down there oh look at that as well it's not going to be any benefit to me so but it will give me some of those pieces. There we go. Take the bomb straight down. Wasted the popcorn. Doesn't help. And next one. Next one. Next one. Take that down there. That's terrible, isn't it? So, risk. Take the risk. We go yellow. Oh, it was good. Bring that one down there. Bring the blue in as well. It's a shame it fell down. But we'll take that one. Kick that straight down. Lovely. Take that one in as well, and we go this side on that one. Look at the bomb. There we go. Perfect. Okay, look at that. Right, come down with the rocket. Right, take that on there. Take the rocket straight down there. We're now good on this side. Lovely. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. Oh, man, doesn't that look good? Lovely triple rocket there as well. Uh, why are Supercell doing another generic puzzle game? There is already 1,000 out there. I thought they like to make games that haven't been heard of before. Or am I just talking out of my... Well, remember there's different teams of different styles and different aspects. Uh, this one incorporates both the puzzle game and the designing as well. Yes, there are many, many out there. I do agree. Um... Will this be different? It feels more comfortable for me at the moment, and I like it. So, it depends. <coughs> Lena, I'll have a look at the moment on your list. Ricky, I'm sending your package on the 4th of June. Please message me when you get it and don't have to wait to open it. Oh, okay. I will be doing. Uh, so, hmm. Right, how about visit my farm, look at my pig. Okay, give me a second. Hang on. 
Take that one down there, and that's not going to help. Okay, what do we got? Take the blue into the red, lovely. I'm going to do a nice little rocket option on that one as well. i take that one down there, bring that in, perfect. There we go. Lovely. Okay, lovely again. Mm -hmm. Oh dear. Take that one in there, the flower in there, bring that one down. One, two. Easy. Right, so uh, have you visit farm and look at my pig? Okay, let's go have a look. Lena says, come and have a look at her pig. Lena, 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 Lena. Lena, what is your star count? Where are you? Where's Lena's? Lena, 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 Lena. I can't see you. You must have started. So, Lena, what is your star count? So I can find you. Uh, native, if they do go heyday pop in America, it will be global. Uh, it will have to be global. America's too large a base to be for the testing. So uh, if they did go with heyday pop in America, I think it would be when the game goes global. Um, it's just not. Okay, let's go back to this one again. So take that away for the moment. Hey, the cover. Let's go have a look. What was her picture? It would tell me. Uh, picture, 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 picture. Ba -da -ba -da. Doesn't tell me how many stars she's got. Okay, I can't see. Nope, doesn't tell me. Forty-four stars. Okay, forty-four stars. There we go. Uh, Rainbow Land. I see it. Right. So let's go look at your piggies. We got one little pig. Ah, oh, Burnett. Yay! Look at that. It's me. I'm a little piggy. Look at my one. Oh yeah. Look at that. Eating in unison. Oh yeah. Wiggle it, baby. Mm -mm -mm. Don't I look good? Who's the other one? So we've got down there, no, just bouncing up and down. They're not letting me look at their names so oh well. Just one. Yay, it's me. It's me. It's me. Do 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 do. I'm a pig. <laughs> <laughs> I am always eating, so I can understand that one. Rush Wars was fun as well. I did like that one. Oh. But it was also very repetitive and frustrating as well for some people. Uh, Fatah, this is the new Supercell game that's being tested at the moment. It's called Heyday Pop. Uh, and that's what this one is at the moment. So, yes. But it's not everywhere. It's only in some countries. And it's not yet available in all countries. Hmm, it's going to be fun. Right, I'm going to take the triple option on this one. Here we go, one pig as well. Come down with the blue, come down with the red. I'm going to take that green in the middle, and then we go with the blue. Yeah, we go with that one. Take the straight down there. <laughs> decisions, decisions, decisions. I'm going to go with the trip double option. There we go. Nice little bomb in there as well. Double bomb is good. Bring that down. Um, decisions. Let me go with the bomb. Mm -hmm. mm. 
Remember that Heyday Pop and Heyday are not the same game. They're different teams, so not the same team. Ah, uh, Pizza, the one with the fishes. I've got so many recorded on that one already. It's good fun. Whoever designed these fishes one is evil. So some of those are like, wow. Okay. Where we go? Just the flowers now. So take that one down there, that one down there, and get that one in there as well. And there we go. And we'll take the rocket, I think. Perfect. Easy. Look at that. Done and dusted. Mm -hmm. Okay. Peter sent a puzzle with fishes. Let's have a look. There have been some really good fish puzzles. Really good ones. I'm so enjoying them. All right. Let's have a look. Mm-hmm. I don't see it yet, Peter. I just see the same one. Unless it's Facebook, Facebook. Hmm. Doesn't say. I can't see it. Better said, have you earned over $1 billion? Well, one ever, have you ever earned ever $1 from YouTube? Uh, yes, I get paid money by YouTube. Uh, so I have uh, monetization on my videos. And if you watch my videos and you see an advertisement, I get a small part of that revenue. Not a lot. Uh, YouTube gets more money than I do out of it. But uh, I get something and it adds up. It's nice. So I do earn money. Hmm. I reckon I don't need too many people. Well, you've still got the designing side for decoration and pieces like that. You've still got to create the levels and the appearance. So, uh, depends on the situation. But, yeah, you forgot to send me the picture. Oh, my God. You're a crazy boy. Crazy. Aha! I got a fish! Oh, I love these ones. They are so much fun. Uh, right. Mm-hmm. Boom. <laughs> oh, it is fun. They really are. Popping the pieces. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Popping the pieces, popping the pieces. We'll take a fish, there we go. And take that one as well. Popping the pieces. <laughs> popping the pieces. This is hysterical, this. It really is. I'm having so much fun messing around with this one. Not why he's doing a good job, but uh, I am enjoying it. Ah, you didn't go where I wanted. Oh, well, doesn't matter. Right, next one over there. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Take that one as well. Got five moves left. <gasps> no. How can I only have five moves left? You've got to make it easy for me. No. Okay, we'll explode that. There we go. We'll take that one down there. Oh, we're not going to do this one. Oh, my God, we failed. It's lost the game. Terrible, terrible, terrible. With one move left, can we do it? Oh, no, we've lost it. We've lost it. We've lost it. Boing. We finished. What is the 11.99 thing YouTube is asking for? I don't uh, watch it without. Okay. Uh, what do you mean 11.99? I don't know. So YouTube shouldn't be asking for 11.99. Whatever that is, I don't know. So Native Star, I haven't got a clue what the 11.99 is. Send me a screenshot. So you don't need to pay to watch YouTube. You never do. 
So you don't need to pay to watch YouTube. I think with like they have like a YouTube where you don't have advertisements and you can disable advertisements and things like that. But whatever that is, I don't know. That's got nothing to do with me. Uh, I know YouTube had an offer for some countries where you get free membership, but yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Send me a, a screenshot, then I can have a look. Uh, let's come back and let's go and have a look. You've sent me a new picture. Okay. Ah, I did that one the other day. That one's easy. That one's easy, Peter. Uh, that one's not a problem at all. That one's a piece of cake. Uh, that one's not difficult at all. That one's easy. So, yeah, that one's easy. So, that one's easy. Hmm. Oh, how did I stretch that? Something's gone strange. What's happened? I've stretched my game and I don't know what I did. Oh, that looks weird now, doesn't it? Uh, my game has stretched across the screen and that looks very strange. Uh, it looks all compactive and unusual. Uh, at the moment, Fatah, I think I'm okay with what I had down there, but I haven't been back on uh, there for a while, so mm, I'm good. Ah, okay, it's 1.30. I've got to stop. Right, let's come back, let's come back, let's come back, put in the cover. Okay, everybody, I'm afraid I've run out of time. Uh, I have to go out and have lunch, get ready, and then come back and work because I've got lessons tonight as well. It's uh, 1.30 for me now in Japan, which means I need to stop. Now, what did we do today? Well, we played the farm, and we had a bit of gaming down there as well, and then we worked on my design a little bit more, and I will come back and start working more with design another time. There's still quite a bit of work to be done to make it more beautiful, and I'm waiting for my bushes to grow now so I can see how they look when they are within the design. But I will come back on that one another time. For Heyday Pop, I will be uploading some more videos again later for you. Uh, but in the meantime, I will see you all next time. So thank you for joining me today. You take care, have fun, and stay safe. And I will see you another time. So bye now.